so I'm doing my thing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, easy, Tony Hawk. You're grinding really hard on me. But like a joke in the bedroom, it's not that I'm against him at all. I wasn't like, that's not nice. Yeah, yeah. I laughed at the time, but then like, you think I'm gonna get on top of you again? Are you stupid? Yeah. Are you stupid? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Don't bring up Tony while we're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Sattva Mattress Company. Tom and I have slept for almost a decade now on a Sattva mattress. We started with a luxury firm, king size. That's why we got into it, because we wanted a king size bed for a fraction of the cost. And we got something so beyond what we even expected. The quality was outstanding. So we stuck with them. We slept on Lumen Leaf and now in the Solaire. And it came in handy when Tom and I were injured because we can sure go did. up, down, it vibrates, it lights up. It is just the best. And we really do sleep on these mattresses. And we tell you, try it out for 90 days. If you don't like it, uh, they will take it back, but that probably won't happen. And yep. right now you go to sattva.com slash the shit and you can get $200 off your next Sattva purchase. Sattva, that's S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit for $200 off. That's how much we love this company. Try it out. Hey. What's up there, Chomo? How you guys doing? Welcome to another episode of Your Mom's House. I am, of course, uh, your host, Tommy T-Buns Ding Dong Segura. And joining me, as always, is my lovely co-host. And joining us live from Austin, Texas, is Christina P. Hey, Christina. How you doing, Christina? <laughs> How you doing? Well, huh? Uh, I'm coming can... to get that booty. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. How you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm wearing my Halston's. Yeah. What happened? I've been, butt, I've been butt fucking the shit out of dudes. I feel like I have to, I've earned these glasses. Yeah. Just like Halston. No, dude, I'm so bummed. Like, it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. I have fucking pink eye. And, and that, I mean, I'll just say, I've it's heard so that that's from fecal matter. Is that what happened? Yeah. No, and here's the best part is that this has been a week in the making. And I called our doctor and I was like, dude, I think I have like pink eye. And he goes, well, no, usually you get that from a kid and everybody in your house will have it. And I was like, mm, I'm pretty gross. I'm pretty sure it's pink eye. He's like, it's allergies. It's allergies. And of course, a week later now, he's like, oh, yeah, it's pink eye. Oh. I'm like, well, yeah, because I. I fucking, I touch dirty diapers and dirty ass. I touch my ass. I'm nasty, you know? Mm. Yeah. You touch your I've been ass. nasty. I, I mean, touch my eyes. Wait a minute. Do you touch your eyes after you touch your ass? Because that's kind of the of only course. problem. Why are you doing of that? Course. Why are you touching your ass and then touching your eyes? I'm just kidding. I don't know if it's, it's on purpose, but I haven't been as hygienic because I don't shower as much because of my ankle. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm probably just getting nastier because I'm just, I've been, I've been giving myself um, hobo baths, mm -hmm. you know, where I stand by the sink and then I wet yeah. a rag and Jesus. then I just like rag myself down a lot oh, more. Yeah. Ooh, a that's some gush gush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think I have a feeling that I, I took a rag that maybe I wiped my ass off. Oh my, dad, my God. <laughs> Seriously? I'm just, putting, I'm just putting a theory together. The new new. Yeah. Uh, it's, so awful. <laughs> so embarrassed. That's it's so, so gross. embarrassing. Yeah. That's so gross, it's babe. So fucking gross. Oh, and here's another update from our home. Mm -hmm. So our son who brought home a frog, mm -hmm. mm, turns out one of the, the workers here is like, Oh, that's not a frog. That's a toad. You better wash his hands after he handles it. He's gonna get warts. If a uh, toad pees on you, you're going to get warts. I'm like, great. oh, that's fucking great. That's what we need. That's what we need. Our five year old covered in warts. Yeah. And pink eye. And then I rub my hands and my eyes and I get warts in my eyes next. Yeah. Jesus. This is a really oh full God. week. And so, Tom, how much butt fucking was in Halston? Like, I don't know. I, I only I only watched walked in on um, the one episode you were watching and I, I saw him meet the nice guy at the bar and. And the next scene was them butt fucking. So yeah, I saw that scene. 
There was so much. And it was, it was a lot. They didn't need to show that. I like, they could have been like, Hey, they're going to butt fuck now, but they, they had to show the full thing, you know, like I get it, man. They're oh my, butt fucking. Oh my God. And even in other, in, in episodes following, there's even more butt fucking. And like, can I just tell you one butt fucking? So his lover, Victor is at studio 54 mm-hmm. and they're together. Halston and Victor, they're a couple. Halston yeah. walks into Studio 54 and sees Victor butt fucking another guy just like next to the dance floor, like fully pounding his butt and then being like, hey, what's up, Halston? And how's Halston like, feel? He's not too happy. Yeah. He's like, hey, don't do that. that. At least don't do that in front of me <laughs> in public. But then he gets turned on and then they BF later too. Oh, they That's do? The whole thing. He was yeah. like, it was so cool to see you do that. Do it to me now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna give yeah. that a whirl. You're gonna try to if we go to a club and I walk in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, "Are you going to the bathroom?" I'll, I'll tell this chick, "Get over here." I'm gonna butt fuck you, and then uh, <laughs> when you come back, I'll be like, "Hey, how you doing? Look what I'm doing." <laughs> See if you and like I'll it. I'll be like, "So hot," and I'll give you the ma- hang ten, mahalo. You know, <laughs> so hot. shred, bro. Do you shred? shred? You know what I just realized too is that I'm dressed like a French mime. You kind of are. Could you do a little yeah. for us? <laughs> I just need <laughs> gloves. Mm-hmm. God, looks great. When's the last time you had pink eye? You um, get it? I don't think <laughs> I have. Tomorrow. Yeah, I am. I am. You're gonna get it tomorrow. You're gonna lay on the same pillows as me. Mm. <sighs> Please don't give it's it to the me. Worst. It's no one else has it. Yeah. God, I don't. Want it, it is. It's so miserable. It's probably worse than the broken ankle. I think like pink eye, ha- like finger problems, toe aches, like those little things are yeah. way worse than like a big injury in some regards. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I'm going to go like, ahead and uh, go, just go ahead and um, quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, <laughs> this is making me more miserable though. I right get now. that. I get that. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks to... It's one of those things where you can almost forget about it and then you look in a mirror and you're like, oh, Jesus. Because yeah. it, it yeah. so affects your appearance. So you just, That's you're startled by yourself, you know, <laughs> which is terrible. Is. Maybe I'm just so vain and it's so upsetting that it's like on my, it's I don't in think, my eyes. I don't think it's to be so vain to feel that way. I think a lot of people feel it, you know? <laughs> like, you see like your appearance you a, change, you're like, Jesus. Uh, it's like missing it's a word. tooth or something. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> and then, uh, also, <laughs> one time I did for for a sh- I shot something. I shaved my beard, but left a mustache. And every time I walked by a mirror, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like you, I didn't get used to it for like days. Yeah, it's just alarming. Or, or do you remember, like in junior high school, you would get a pimple in the oh, worst yeah. place. I, yeah. I remember one time I got one on the tip of my nose. I've had those. The very tip the very, of my and nose. It's like, and it's, you're like, really? It's like, it's the tip of your nose. And it's like the day <laughs> after the girl you like flirted with you. And you're like, oh, I'm going to try to talk to her again today. And you know, you go, it's Friday. You got a new shirt. <sighs> you walk into school and you got like, just ding a dong. fucking ding dong <laughs> at the end of you're like, God damn it. It's the worst. Ding dong. No, the worst ever was in sixth grade. I had um, net gear that I, I had to wear at night to straighten out my teeth, right? So to, to, I had an overbite. So that corrects the overbite. It pushes the yeah. top jaw back. And I was such a doofus when I first had the neck gear. Like I followed the rules to the letter. Like six o'clock came on, I put on my neck gear. And I remember one time we had a party at my dad's house. It was a Sunday night and all the Hungarians came over. And I was like, time to put in my fucking neck gear. And I walked around like a dork. Oh, and I no. got, Yeah shit on so hard all the hungarians like what is this you're talking to outer space <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's so mean <laughs> and, uh, how old were you i was 12 i was in sixth grade <laughs> so mean it's so mean yeah and you're a girl you know like you're a little more sensitive and yeah yeah and I, I apologize i apologize that i said that please do not use gendered <laughs> language i'm sorry Anybody could be affected by that. Doesn't matter who or what we you know, are. Well, we're ostracizing the net gear community right now. True. True. And the pink eye community. We're being very insensitive. Yeah. 
So how long are you going to be like, do you start medication today? Uh, you better believe it. This morning I was, I called the doctor. I was like, yo, you got to help. You help. said it like that. You I'm say, yo, you, you got to help yo, to the doctor. I texted, I texted him. I was like, yo, this dog. shit needs to stop, bro. I swear to God. I was like, dog, this is worse than the ankle, bro. You need to help. <laughs> I go, I am miserable right now. Uh -huh. Please kill me. I texted him a picture. No, I woke up. I looked like shit. I texted him the picture and I went, bro, both eyes kill me. I'm like, I need, I need drugs. Did he, so <laughs> not... did he give you some? Yeah. So then okay. it's like, it's like fucking Cipro you put in your eye. Well, it's I, Cipro. I got, it kills um, everything. I got to play the opening clip. I haven't done that yet. You ready to open a clip? Of course. I think you'll like it. This I think it's very appropriate that this you is. You got that no no. Is, is it that one. asshole? No, no, you'll like it. Ready? He yeah. here you go. I just wanna let all y'all know out there, watch for waspies because they'll sting you and then you look like me. <laughs> but it's hot today, so make sure you drink water. Okay. Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> Who is Randy? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother into this. Okay. Last thing. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Waspies. Not wasps. <laughs> waspies. Jesus man. Christ, man. Watch for waspies. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'll tell you, I've mis I've mispronounced words for years. Yeah, me too. For years. I'm not sure. Oh, they just I mean, hit me up a few weeks ago. I didn't know that I said like 20 times on an episode, uh -huh. I said disassociate. Instead of dissociate. Dissociate. But hold on. I think disassociate is a word. Is it? And dissociate is a word. Two but separate words. Yeah, they're two different, I believe. I don't know. People told me they're well, like, we have, you sounded like a real we TikTok. we have Nadav Google? Yeah, I'm he's Googling. He's Googling. I will have Disso you guys know that uh, disassociate is a word. Okay. And it's another term <sighs> for dissociate. Okay. They're both accepted. They're both accepted. So oh. from me... To the for to you all of you out there that said that I said it wrong, go suck your mom's dick and eat shit and come <laughs> in your dad's mouth. It's hot today, so make sure you drink water. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on with this guy? You got to watch for waspuses, and then waspuses. You, oh, I forgot to ask you, because uh, you're in Austin. And then, uh, yeah, is it hot today? Well, Tom, I'll tell you, it is humid today. It yeah. is hot. And if you think it's hot right now, you just wait a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's going because it's it hotter. It's hot. But I'll tell you what, it is raining again today. It's raining so that's again? Some, well, uh -huh. I sure wish this rain would stop so y'all could get out on the river. Me too. Watch my for waspies. <laughs> that might be my new favorite drop. <laughs> Waspus. Waspus. Now, he, his now, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Can you kick yeah. my ass? My ass. So, so <laughs> would Waspus. you rather have your eyes fucked up, but you can cover oh it God. with your holster, with your butt fucks over your eyes, or <laughs> would you rather have a pack of waspuses oh sting God. your lips and then there's nothing you no. can put over them? Oh. <sighs> Now, okay, well, hold on. That's a good point. I would rather have this affliction than that affliction any day. But then there's nothing worse than a cold sore. I would say a cold sore. Mm. Oh, God. And people, when you have a cold guy. sore, people are like, oh, you've been out there just sucking random dicks? Yeah. Like, that's what everybody thinks. <laughs> yes. How'd you get that? Like with, yeah, with pink eye, I'm just disgusting because I put shit hands in my eyes. Oh, Jesus. But 
herpes on your mouth and you're, you assume I've been sucking dicks. Yeah. Mm. So what do you want to be filthy or a whore? Like that's my yeah. two choices. A lot of people would go either or on that one. I think, you know, Get multiple, stung choice. By waspus. multiple choice. <laughs> waspus. Well, um, now we're calling them. We're calling them waspus from now on. You know? That. Oh yeah. Watch for waspus. <laughs> <laughs> they got them good too. Those waspuses got them. Well, uh, one time as a kid, I had a waspus fly down my throat and sting me in the throat. What? When I was seven. Yeah. I was running in the front yard and I was uh, laughing and running and then one flew down my throat and sung me there. I one time came up on actually the front door of a house we lived in as a kid and there was a nest. Oh. And I didn't know. I just, and, uh, you know, like bees, most bees, not like uh, killer bees, but most bees that you standard bee you see around they have to be provoked to sting they won't just sting you you know but waspuses yeah. will <laughs> they're predatory dicks. and they just came and then they're just stuck <gasps> in my arm like i had to pull them out of my arm you know oh, it hurt so and, fucking bad did you swell up uh yeah i mean you know it just it was painful i don't remember i didn't have like blisters or i wasn't like it wasn't like that but it was just there was like seven of them in my arm hurt very painful so bad yeah and Those I was, waspuses are dicks. Yeah, they are. They really are. They are. And I, I walked. I remember the next day I went to school. I was like, "Watch for waspus." Yeah, I told people. Yeah. Watch for waspus. Mm -hmm. Watch for waspus. Um, I thought you know this was uh, pulled by Zolo. I thought you would appreciate this. Just kind of right up your alley. Yeah. So some of people on TikTok are confused because they've been seeing us on live. Did you want to introduce yourself, lovely? My name is Caitlin. I am a, uh, a, a Shiba Inu Husky mix, and we've been together for about three weeks now. Yeah, so I'm dating her and I'm dating Alyssa. Um, as you guys probably know, I'm polyamorous. Um, I have three and a half partners. Um, officially, I'm dating Alyssa. Caitlin and Levi. Levi's long distance, but you guys know that in my stream is Human Wolf. So yeah. Anything else you want to tell my followers, love? That's I it. I hope to see you guys around. <laughs> so here's the thing that I there's a lot that I find fascinating about this. One is I feel like collectively we all go, well, these are mentally ill people, but <laughs> we we accept and we agree to that. But then other people that have other inclinations yeah. and preferences, we go, oh, they're not mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tom? I yeah. think you're you're just being a hater and you're jellies. Yeah. Because let me tell you, I follow the wolf lady mm -hmm. on TikTok. I'm very familiar with her work. She has an impressive wolf. She she does she identifies as a wolf. And I feel like she's showing off a bit there. Did you notice the smile? She's like, and I'm dating Kyla, who's oh, I also noticed. half I noticed. Yeah, she, who's half Shibu Inu, yeah, yeah. and I'm dating Perla. It's like, bitch, you're just showing off. Like, yeah. I don't believe that you have feelings for all of these wolves. Yeah. Don't compliment that bitch. She, uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's totally crazy. Everybody in this video is crazier than shit. And 99.9% yeah. .9 of society would be like, these two fucking fuck nuts don't pay attention to anything they're saying. They're crazy. Uh... But then we entertain them and people like them. You know, like as if this is a real thing to consider. Yeah, there's a half. Wait, which which part is crazy? The part that she's like, I'm a wolf. I'm All of it. I'm you. dating three and a half people. I'm dating a dog. This is a dog. I fucking, it's all insane. It's insanity. <laughs> what the fuck are we even talking about? What are you, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Get, you but know what? On. Get more interesting. Read a book. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some shit I don't know instead of making up this bullshit. But Tom, hear me out. Are what? wolves are wolves monogamous? Meaning maybe she's living in accordance with the way wolves live. And point of personal privilege. Her, Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's a good point. That is a very good point. But I like your point, and you're absolutely right. It's like, remember when people used to be interesting because they mastered something subject yeah or they learn to play guitar yeah or show me that something. check this out yeah. and they start playing you a song wow that's really cool you're interesting because you learned yeah. a skill and you mastered it you don't you, know, you just go like i'm half alien and i'm a fucking shih tzu <laughs> and i'm like 
If you're wondering what jet <gasps> and fucking spaceship I landed here on, I'm dating somebody in outer space. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man. You know, yeah, you can't sell me on that shit because I'm not retarded. So it's not gonna fucking <laughs> it's not a thing for me. Because you know what this is? This is essentially re reality television. Like, remember when reality shows came out and people were mad because they're like, "You're just famous for being yourself." Yeah. How is that a thing? And now this is like the incarnation of celebrity for absolutely no reason. So on a smaller scale, the wolf lady on TikTok is famous. She's TikTok famous. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she can just be like, I'm a wolf. Arr! Arr! And now she gets laid. Yeah. yeah. Fucking bullshit. Her, uh, but to her credit, her howl is impressive. Like she can really howl. This one? Yeah. Even that little She's short, really that little bullshit one she did at the end there was still pretty impressive i'll tell you that it's, re it's really if you good. just did a video about your wolf howls i'd be like that's pretty yeah. cool i bet yeah. she can get some real wolves to come around yeah and that'd be a she video can. i'd watch her out in the <laughs> wild howling like a wolf and the wolves come and just rip her to pieces <laughs> that'd be a cool video you're like you're not one of us bitch yep go be with your fucking brethren stupid bitch with your wolf bitch yeah no, I actually, I really like the wolf lady. Yeah. And I, uh, point of personal privilege, I, I believe she's also trans. Like, I want to say she was once. That's great. That's a fine. Man, and now she's a wolf woman. So there's a okay. lot of stuff going on. There's a lot us. going on. DoorDash. Thank God for DoorDash. We have been using them weekly of, during the pandemic. And now because I'm just hooked on it. I mean, why not? When every night of the week, you can have something different delivered right to your door. It's so easy. It's just an app. You, you sign up, you look at the restaurants in your area and that they do contactless delivery. Um, you can put that in your drop off settings, tens of thousands of restaurants across Canada. You can support your neighborhood go to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like McDonald's, Popeye's, a and W and Tim Horton. So everyone in the family can be happy. Don't worry about cooking. Let dinner come to you with DoorDash. For a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code YMH. That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code YMH. Don't forget, that's code YMH for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. This episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. I got to tell you, there's nothing quite like a whoop and what it can do for insight into how your body is working and feeling. It's incredible. You strap a whoop on your wrist, you literally forget it's there, and then you're collecting all this data. You're also inputting things like, you know, what you consume that day. Did you have something to drink? Did you have caffeine? Uh, you start kind of marking what your activities are, and it's recording everything and it starts to build this database of this is how much strain you're putting on this is how much sleep this is how you're recovering this is how your your body's ready to rest or your body's ready to take on strain and it's incredible you have a sleep coach a strain coach it's all insight you would otherwise not know and whoop has i have to applaud them for creating such an incredible product and for our listeners if you're thinking about giving whoop a shot there's no better time than today you can save 15 percent off a of whoop with the code your mom go to whoop W H O O P dot com. Use the code your mom at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery, strain, and sleep insights from Whoop. Um, um, so, point of personal privilege. Point of personal privilege. Everybody's okay, making video. sounds. <laughs> Please just wave your fingers in the air so you don't make did any get, sound. Did you get the extended version of that? Yeah, I have some of that here. You want to see it? Of course. Uh, yeah. Shout out to, to Eiler who sent this shit in. He, he texted me this video. This is so insane. Now we're going to move on to the uh, resolutions. And Very brief. Committee. Very brief point of information. If you are using a microphone, talk into it directly like I am right now and do not wave your face back and forth because people cannot hear you. That is all. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the pointer. <laughs> Fuck you. I know. Do it how I'm how doing it right now. I'd be like, hey, shut the fuck up and sit down, dipshit. Yeah. Then you be the socialist leader, you cum sucker. I'm going to take this microphone and stick it down your fucking throat if you yeah. interrupt me again. 
Yeah. Go jump off a bridge and make it. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Remember that one? Make a bridge and go over it. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Here's another another one for these morons. Look at this one. First of all, in this room, I see that no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this. And that's really important because those loud bursts of noise, even though this is a noisy space, when we can do something like reducing that, that's really important. So please don't clap, shoot up these. Um, and, and additionally, with the, um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. Who are these fucking losers? Like, who are they? They're the Socialist Party. That's the Socialist Party? What? Yeah, this what? was their... So they are socialists, and they want socialism. Um, we have quiet so rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? I mean, on seven, there's one... Why is noise so important to socialists? So, and why is avoiding it the top fucking priority? Good question. Point of personal privilege, Tom. Um, that's because you don't have an auditory sensory overload problem. Some of these do all do socialists. Their... Well, these these people do, and they need you to be sensitive to the people that might have auditory sensory uh, processing disorders. God. But to your point, now that you said that, it makes sense. Like, this is how they're special. By complaining about stupid yeah. things like they're in this an auditorium that normally has special. noise in it and they're like thank god we're here and there's yeah and they feel special yeah by ident by picking up this identity of like i'm a socialist i'm yeah. bothered by noises i do this instead and of clapping. here's like, the I'm real my group danger in this gathering and it's not has anything that doesn't have anything to do with socialism is that they're all pathetic fucking losers and that yeah. they got together and they're trying yep. to normalize being these pathetic fucking being, pieces, bottom feeding pieces of shit. I, I, and they're like, oh, this is, hey, we're normal. <laughs> this is the, this preach, is, the, you know, like, Jesus Finally. Christ, man. You know, this preach. is why you need, this is why you need bullies. This is why you need people preach. to bully people. You know, I, I agree with you so much, especially because it's anti-resilient, right? Yeah. What are we telling people to do to be weaker and to be victimized constantly. It's nonsense. The world is never going to cater oh, to you. Never. I just hate them But these so jack-offs, these jack-offs want the world to conform to what they want. It's absurd. Watching this video, it's like, it's... Absurd. Sweating like a, like a black man. It's, it's got me sweating in here. You know, it's just so uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, you know what I wish? That's so gay. I, yeah. You know what I wish is yeah. that the national, so right next door to the socialist convention should be the national bullying association. Yeah. Mm. Guys, can you do this instead of clapping? God. Oh God. So Jesus weak. Jesus Christ. Not being man. such a weakling. Yeah, man. Fucking pussies. They are so, they're, that's the thing. It's just like, it's the, it's the giant pussy convention is what this is. Yeah. Big, wet, soppy, sloppy, hairy pussies. I, I just can't. Even, I can't believe this is not a sketch. Every time I see a clip from this thing, I'm like, "How is this not a sketch?" Point of privilege. Wow. Uh, can I reiterate that we, uh, for the sake of our comrades who have sensory issues, <laughs> refrain from hissing, loudly shouting out your opinion on a vote, or waving banners and signs that reflect your vote in front of people? Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. God, what a sensitive fucking. But but do you think they'll ever reach? a utopia even just in that room where everybody's needs are met at all times because essentially that's what they're doing with this interruption of point of privilege you're being too loud point of privilege you're being know, too you, tall you, you don't get anything done in this room the well, whole, everyone you know, interrupts you didn't use the microphone correctly you waved yeah. the band you hissed can you stop shifting in your seat hey can we get to the first <laughs> thing we were going to talk about i know like are they ever going to reach a place where they could just conduct their business. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. I think at the end of two hours, they'd be like, all right, are we ready to start? <laughs> Everybody's finally stopped moving. You just fucking, why don't you just sedate everybody in this room? God, I want to kill them all. I do. Hi, I am Andy P uh, from Los Angeles. They, them pronouns. Um, <laughs> could I please ask the chair to, um, again, um, 
there was a previous point of privilege about waving around signs <laughs> oh that it, it is distracting to other comrades. I have autism. This is distracting to me. Can I, I would like to ask our fellow delegates, please, to not wave around your signs, especially during voting. Thank you. Yes. Uh, please do not wave around your signs. Thank you. Oh, God. Can't stand them. So... <laughs> Tom, you didn't say your pronouns when you introduced me. Hey, guys. They, them. Good to be here. <laughs> Fucking A, man. Tom Segura, Los Angeles, California. My pronouns are they, them. Yeah. The pronoun announcement. My goodness. Oh my you know, God. people are having to people are having to add that to their um, their signature now, their corporate signatures and your emails and in academia. Could you imagine having to add that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like I'm. Tom Segura, comedian. My pronouns are they, them. But well, you see it in people's bios all the time on social it's media. Fucking absurdity. Of course it is. <sighs> like, when you, like when you see a dude, like a guy with a beard who's like, hey, my pronouns are like, no, we know what they are, man. Because you're a fucking guy. We all see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I know. So I, I know you have your preference. It's, it's cute. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Especially in Texas. Like, oh, good luck. And good luck announcing your pronouns in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, like, Jesus. after having been here now in, in Tejas for just since May, like you, you really realize, at least I do, having grown up in the bubble that is Los Angeles. And I'm not shitting it on LA. I'm 818 till I die. I fucking love LA. Yeah. You do realize how L.A. and, and you know, New York and everything, th there's that logic. And then there's like the, the rest of the country. That's just like this. Yeah, is absurd. it's crazy. I mean, if you're, it's, it's if you're a guy and you announce your pronoun, you might as well just be like, <laughs> oh, <faggot."> you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Was that Bert? Yep. Yep. Man, he is, and he's uh, sexist now. Is he? Right. Homophobe? Is that what? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think he is. I think he was just self identifying. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, well, we don't have you for much uh, longer, so why don't we go ahead and, you know, get into it? I heard you bitches were looking for me. <laughs> So ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um, when, 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 listen, Tom. When Beth Stelling gets here, yeah. Will you when you introduce yourself? Be like, hey, what's up? It's Tom Segura. My pronouns are they them, and with me is Beth Stelling. Oh, tell everybody your pronouns. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. See what she says for sure. I will. <laughs> I think I wouldn't say I'm they them though. I'm he him because those are my pronouns. You're he, sorry. Hey, yeah. Tom Segura. He him. No, this isn't a joke. <laughs> Just. I'm just uh, reiterating what you already fucking knew, unless you're a complete fucking moron, <laughs> that I'm a guy. And uh, yeah, just making it clear, unless you're... But we don't know that, Tom. Even though you present as male, your gender identity inside could be... I also completely. present white. I didn't know that. Someone told me that recently. They go, well, you present white. Yeah, you can be white. transracial. Well, transracial. though, they were saying that because I am um, Latinx... Latino. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Another dumb dipshit thing they're throwing around that um, they're like, so a lot of people don't know you're Latinx because you present yeah. white. And I was like, lose my number. Okay. <laughs> was that, is that your point of personal privilege that yeah. you present as white though? Yeah. Yeah. Were they upset? They were just um, like, yeah, you know, a lot of people don't give you your Latin credit because you present white. And I was like, and it makes right. all the difference. Mm -hmm. But don't don't people think of you totally differently, right? They do. It makes a big difference. Sometimes they do. Yeah. 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 All um, right. I found a, a TikTok. I don't know if we can share it because it's got music embedded in it. But it was a it was a, a black girl and she was like, I just want you to know that I identify as well white. So if you have a problem with that, and I was like, All right, welcome. Yeah. I, I'll, yeah, sure. Come on in. I don't care. Yeah. Hey girl. Um, all right, Welcome. so here's um, here's some of your talks that you've uh, curated. You ready to watch sure. them? All right, here we go. Of course. There's Always. one good thing about the Texas heat. You can guarantee that no one's waiting in your back seat to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great one. 
<laughs> the way she said it was fucking perfect. Yeah, that she's was so funny. Fantastic. There you go. That was for you, Tommy. That was great. I was genetically engineered from the ground up. I was a special section marine from the time that I was a baby. Have you ever killed an extraterrestrial being? Yes. Have you ever physically been to a planet other than Earth? Yes. There are no indications that Mr. Kramer was actively attempting to deceive me or the polygraph examination. From my perspective, Mr. Kramer does believe that he is telling the truth. I've always known I've been telling the truth. People now are going to have to look at this. Yeah, well, you're schizophrenic, so that's why you believe that you're telling the truth. Tom, um, you don't know that. How do you know he hasn't gone to alien lands and killed extraterrestrials? These are re two really good starts to your talk session. <laughs> well, let me tell you, is that the heat makes people crazy. Mm -hmm. I think the summer cooks up people's true. brains. It does. It's a lot going on. A lot going on. So I oh. identify as wolf spiritually and psychologically but I'm still in a human body. So with that in mind, <laughs> so there she is. That, that, I'm so glad we got to see her work and TikTok. It's cool that. to see a wolf run that fast. Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen a wolf run on two legs like that? Like no, a not like that. No, not like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Initial contact on a dating app usually falls on the shoulders of the men. It, it's us who's reaching out, trying to make that first message. And if it evolves from that and you get off the dating app and you're dating and you're in a relationship, even then still, it's the guys who starts off the day for the initial contact. With, hey, beautiful. Hope you slept well. How was your day? Had a good day. What have you. I get those types of messages very rarely, and oh my goodness, they feel so great. The endorphin rush is, is awesome, so no wonder you women like it so much, but it needs to happen more. Women, send out more messages initially. Where's my good morning handsome? Where's my hey sexy? Where's my you up? Where's my what that mouth do? Do better, ladies, and do pay better. no attention to the background. I like that he, this is the second time I've seen this guy, and... um both times he obviously deliberately sets up the camera here and on and both times goes like oh oh just ignore the whips and chains <laughs> like oh that just happens to be there yeah well tom what that mouth do yeah i'll show you what that mouth do oh, where's my good morning how'd you sleep gorgeous okay <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, Holy shit. What just, did a car drive through? That's what that was? Oh, yeah. Trying to remember. This is a minute ago. Her giving that gawk, gawk, 9,000. Do it, play it again. <laughs> you saying that is fantastic. Her giving that gawk, gawk. Nine thousand. <laughs> I can't read because my eyes are swollen shut. Yeah, a fucking jeep drove through that fence and in and into an uh, above ground pool. And oh, a fucking! And that was the equivalent. That what we're seeing there is a guy nutting in, uh, you know, because he's getting that, <laughs> getting that good neck right now. You know what I mean? Oh. That got got. <laughs> I would never have put that together. Yeah, well, I live on these streets. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Very funny. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. God damn it. I don't like it. So for those just listening. It's a oh. guy s or swimming in a, a huge it's a woman. toilet. It's a, it's a woman. It's a woman. Yeah. It's an art installation. Yeah. She's swimming in an over, like an enormous toilet that looks red. Looks like someone had bloody diarrhea <laughs> in the toilet. And she's swimming in it with a snorkel mask on. Like, hi. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't but think you it's wouldn't cool. want to, you wouldn't want to swim in a gigantic toilet. Like just for fun. What if that was your jacuzzi? 
You're like, come over, see my jacuzzi. And it's a big ass toilet. It's pretty I'm funny. good. It's kind of <laughs> funny. I don't want it. One. I don't want it. God, I thought I knew you. I'm going to have this ready. Going, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to spray their fucking windshield and empty this entire belt on, right on their fu motherfucking windshield. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Shit, <laughs> shit. Did you see his face? Do. Did you see his face? <laughs> oh so my god, scared. I wanted to fall on the face. <laughs> I was there. scared, dude. I was like, ah. I was like, I'm in a shitty mood. This is fucking, I mean, I like it. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So he thought it would be a funny, funny prank to take his fake gun and pretend to, like, play stick him up. With, with a stranger. Who's... That was a stranger? With a stranger. Yeah, and I'm like, that has to be the stupidest idea in the world. Yeah, that um, I don't know. that guy didn't what play that shit at all. He fucking ran up, opened the door, and pulled it away. Oh my! And then they're like, ha 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 ha, ha that was funny. Yeah, are you crazy? Yeah, that's, that's a real, damn that's line. a crazy thing to do. Yeah, but even like, I'll have to say the the way that the guy spoke, who oh. who had the fake gun, you know, yeah. didn't didn't seem like he was an Ivy League grad. You know what I mean? Really? <laughs> He seemed seemed touched. Talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, touched as they say in the south. <laughs> Poco tocado. <laughs> touched. Look, people. The only thing that's depopulating us and a real uh, thing to worry about is all these drone stars up above. Every four seconds, they send a bullet to your brain. Yeah. You don't feel it because you're desensitized. Okay. okay? The only thing to uh, break through it is one of these right here. How do you even stomach this? <laughs> How can you tolerate more than two seconds of this? <laughs> I can't even watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tom? It's just called passion. They tell you if you yeah. love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Uh -huh. I love crazies i love them i eat it for breakfast lunch and dinner why do you think your mom's house is just yeah. the juggernaut that it is we love crazy you it's and true I. but this oh i love it i just live for this shit all right a few more here we go check it out guys oh. they're gonna have sonic weapons <laughs> so in order to shield with sonic weapons you need magneto sonic here pretty simple uh, oh it's Which simple is, see you cut about uh, radi you get some radiation x-ray glasses at eBay. You know, there's the kind of glasses right there. And then you cut it in little circles, about five to a stack, five to a stack. Then you epoxy them. And then you mix it up. All right. And you cut. God damn it. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> He's doing real well, this guy. I can tell. <laughs> He's really got his shit together. God damn it. Mm -hmm. right. Jumping forward. That's like my worst nightmare is yeah. falling down the escalator. The up like escalator? That. Just like, just yeah. go down the other escalator, dipshit. Oh. But the, I mean, haven't you tried to break the rules? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. You're like, oh, that's going to happen. But don't you feel like, I haven't done that in, how long, when was the last time you, I haven't done that in years, right? You do that as a. Years. I'm not an adult. Not, no, yeah, not in a while. Yeah. <laughs> that's a grown ass <laughs> woman. She knows what the fuck she's doing. That's not like a 14 year old, you know? Like that's and a. Now, and she's like heels on. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Super embarrassing. High value men specifically should avoid disagreeable women, single moms and feminists and stuff like that. Unhealthy women. I mean, something like 60% of the North American population is fat or obese or morbidly obese. Yeah. You married a dime. She gets fat. She refuses to lose weight for you. So you're essentially paying a pig for the rest of your life. <laughs> He's like perpetually woke women that um, talk about patriarchy, only earning, you know, 74 cents in every dollar that a man earns. That whole victim mindset means that they have to have an oppressor. Yeah. And guess who that oppressor yeah. is going to be, fellas, if she's dating you? It's going to be the man. Because yeah. that's what they've been told. So you want to stay away from victim mindset women. You know, these women that are all hashtag boss girl. It ties into the disagreeableness, right? Like nobody wants to go and chase excellence all day long and have, you know, fires to put out and people to deal with and bank to make 
And then you come home to your girlfriend or your wife and she's the boss girl. There's got to be all these things that have to be done. And guys, don't waste your time on the boss girl. Hashtag girls. Okay. These guys are a good time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Tastes kind of excellent. You know, there's like, there's, there's some truth to what they're saying, but they're also yeah. like terrifying dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, these guys are kind of scary. Yeah. They're terrifying. I think they don't really like, I don't think like, what kind of women do we like? Well, that's what I think. I, I feel like, Jeez. you know, and I don't really know these guys, but it feels like they just want, like it's implied that they want just like submissive women, right? Yeah. Who are just like, yes, sir. <laughs> no, sir. You know? Sounds good somebody, to me. Somebody who's been to Cobra Tate's school for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your second uncrompted. coffee. Yep. Yeah. Just clean up. Bring me sparkling water. Oh, I don't so drink funny. tap water. I drink sparkling water. It's more expensive. Fantastic. It's good. Yeah, this is a good one, good. though. Shout out. You like that? Yeah. Forget those hashtag boss girls, you you guys. Yeah. They're just all disagreeable. Yep. Don't need to deal with God. your bullshit when I get home. You're fucking yapping and your words yeah, and, and your thoughts and shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> right, babe? That's right. <laughs> when I drink I milk, do... I don't drink at Purple Top. Uh, and sir, if you're drinking that pink top, your wife runs your home. Oh. If you drink that pink top, sir, look at me. Hey, you ought to be wearing the dress and her the breeches. <laughs> I drank red top milk. Amen. I mean, I like it so thick you got to shake it to make it. I, I, I mean, I like cream on the top of it. Sounds like I you like, like cum. My milk. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Sounds like you want someone to jizz in your mouth, Pastor. <laughs> And these, also these judging. fucking guys that get obsessed with colors that they're like, if it's pink, I ain't no way I'm going to touch it. You're like, uh, okay. Sounds like you're just yearning for a dick in your mouth. You're that scared of the color pink. Well, I think you should switch to the pink because the red is full fat and he's got enough of that. Yeah. That he's Hushi's pretty serious right big there. Big in the britches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He needs yeah. to cut back. Maybe get that. Is it blue that's non-fat? I don't know what it is. I drink that red top, Jeez. making making yeah. sure people know. I'm not I imagine know, queer. telling people like you're not drinking milk that has a pink cap on the top of it, are you? <laughs> okay, man. This guy needs to go and he needs to go earn his Halston shades. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. As if as if that's gonna make you like sucking dicks though. If it were that easy. Yeah, you, know, you just have to drink the wrong top the wrong of milk. milk. And all... Yeah, and you're like, shit. Next man. thing you know, uh, you know, what I did. I I reached in the fridge. I didn't even look at the milk I was going to drink, <laughs> and I'm fucking guys every day. I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> Check me out. Y'all might have more teeth than me, but I bet you I ain't got more money than me. Uh... Check me out. Come on, what it is. What it is. What it is. What's that mouth do? <laughs> How'd you sleep, beautiful? I'm the richest person on TikTok. Don't y'all know, bro? Mm -hmm. No. No, no. You're not. no, you're not. But you know what? He's happy. I'm happy for him. He's feeling good. He's right happy. There. Yeah. He has no teeth, too. So yeah. that's that's good that at least he has some cash. And you I know what a, I love? I got a crazy idea for him. Take some of that money <laughs> and get some teeth. <laughs> You know what I mean? Go buy. Go down to the dentist. Yeah, yeah. take like, those snacks. Like, Check out this fucking rack I got. I don't Here. know what's in his nose. Take those stack of ones down to the dentist, <laughs> and get the, and also too, they always flaunt like they fan out fives and ones. He had some, he had a, he had a bunch of twenties though. He did. Oh, he did. Yeah, okay. he had like hundreds, and then like a bunch of twenties. I mean, that dude could definitely make a deal with a dentist, <laughs> like an all cash deal. Hey man, Wait, but how much you money you could, you is that? You could that? fix this, the, the disaster that is my mouth with, you know, <laughs> I have $3,000. Yeah. Do you think that's just, that is like $3,000? He's like, look at all this cash. I'm the richest motherfucker alive. And you're like, it's it's $500 fanned out, which is a lot. It's it, That's a nice chunk of change, but. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, no. No. But you know what? He, like, what is that? Ignorance is bliss, right? He doesn't know what kind of money people have. 
He didn't know what he that thinks he's a do. millionaire because he's holding all that. I'm like, good for him. Let him be happy. I know. Doesn't have any fucking mm-hmm. teeth. Let him enjoy this moment. All right. Sure. Are you guys verified? God only knows. <laughs> you mean I'm, I'm registered? I don't know if I'm verified. <laughs> I probably am verified. I'm back. I look that's like. That's <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> You mean if I've been verified for the vaccination? <laughs> no, if you're verified on social media. No, no, yes. I'm just I'm just a simple influencer. <laughs> <laughs> if you can say more modest, you don't get a headache. Very sweet. This is just like I love it. the old gay crew that rolls around with a young gay guy who yes. kind of captures. Who makes fun of them. That's cute. That's boomer got cute. the vax. That's yeah. the boomer got the vax. I love these old gay guys. They're yeah, they're great. Fantastic. That's a, what's the account? That's a very funny account. I think it's like old gays of TikTok or something. Maybe. I see four guys that drink pink top milk. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I think you're right. Kind of friends of Halston. Uh, oh yeah, they all have their shades. Um, all right, Gene. This was a lot of fun. Mwah. You're precious. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous to I did me. all this crown mold and I did it. All right. I love you. Love you. Um, adios. Mm. Adios. Oh, I love Squarespace. I've used Squarespace for so many years. I have used my own two little paws to build websites using Squarespace because it's just that easy. I love their clean templates. What I mean is you go, you ever go to someone's website and it's just a jumbled mess of words and photos and this and that. Squarespace has uh, templates designed by award-winning designers and they have for everything you need. Are you a restaurant? Do you sell, you know, crocheting needles? Do you sell clay figurines that you, I don't know, (laughs) animals, whatever. Yeah, anything. Anything. You got a wedding coming up. You just had a baby. You want to show pictures. Beautiful templates, e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online. You can customize the look and feel. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box. And a new way to buy domains and choose from over 200 extensions. Head to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Liquid IV. The summer months are here. They're hot, and we need to pro- be proactive and keep our body fueled up and hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel healthier on a day-to-day basis. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. I got to tell you, the products are great. I'm fully on board. This is You can ask her. I get, oh, my I, gosh. I rip these, open the packet, and there's these little <laughs> pouches in there. I pour it into my water every day incredibly delicious flavors like watermelon strawberry lemon lime it's so good and like i said you're making yourself more hydrated and more you're doing it more efficiently than if you're just drinking water alone i drink it every single day and i will not stop (laughs) grab your liquid iv in bulk nationwide at costco or you can get 25 percent off when you go to liquidiv.com use the code mom at checkout that's 25 percent off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code MOM at liquidiv.com. Hey guys, we're back. Tom Segura, pronouns he, him. And joining me is an absolutely <laughs> hilarious comedian. You can see her special Girl Daddy on HBO Max. It's Beth Stelling. Thank Hello. you for coming, Beth. Thank you for having me. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You walk, you look exactly, exactly <laughs> as I remember seeing you. Like, what's up with you chicks? <laughs> <laughs> that don't change i you know it's it's funny you say that because yeah. well thank you yeah um but also i was like thinking because i'm personally like i don't have any plans to do anything to mm-hmm. my face like yeah i want to i feel like i should make an announcement that's yeah. like for my next trick i'm going to age gracefully yeah i'm gonna age like a human yes and not go like someone's gotta do it uh, and pull your face back look like a fucking psycho <laughs> i would re- like i would rather put pantyhose over my head and pull yeah. them up for the full day than Put well, things injectables. I totally, I mean, there's this thing too. I mean, it, it's not a, I've heard it said and I totally agree that if someone's going to get work done, the only kind of work that actually looks good is that the work you don't notice. Like right. it's the subtle thing, you know, when someone, I guess they go like this, mm-hmm. but most people just go, no, no, like 
all the way back. Pull it all the way back, and then you look like a space alien. Like but, you uh, don't I've, look like a person anymore. I've even seen. Um, I mean, I don't want to call them out, but I've had younger women, younger than me, women open for me, mm-hmm. and they've you know shared with me that they've done something to their face, and it's like it makes you look older because you look. It's like wet. Doesn't it? It look. <laughs> <laughs> It does. I don't know look, how to there's describe something, it. It's something strange, and it, it's the scary thing spooky. is that it did used to be. It used to be a thing. I feel like when I was a, a teenager, uh-huh. that like friends' moms would do right, like right. in their like, I don't know, getting fifties into sixties, and they're like, oh, they're aging, and they don't want the skin to hang, and they're doing something. Yeah. Now, I I've met women who are like. 28 that's what and they're I'm like talking yeah i got than that i'm doing all the shit uh preventative i'm like you're not even it hasn't begun you, like this is your best this is your prime time years right now yes you're in your 20s yeah like just i went i've had acne on and off for years well it started in my 20s and so i occasionally get facials but usually they're nightmares because they How only make you. it worse yeah <laughs> but i went recently and i just said you know speaking of i was like is there something i should be doing like uh-huh. just because I'm made, because the time on. is ticking. Yeah. And no, this was a good woman. Oh, okay. Normally I go to a dermatologist that I expect to be a real doctor and they're like, let me stick a needle in there. I'm like, where? All... No. Yeah. I have to say no. Yeah. Repeatedly to sure. needles in my face. But this gal was a great, she actually used to be an, uh, a waitress at the improv. Really? Yeah. And she's uh, like a. Now she's an esthetician. She's great. Okay. Her name's Trina. Anyways, she just was like, you're good. Really? Yeah, I mean, she sold me some like beta antioxidant stuff to put on my face. Yeah, but she was like, "You have high cheekbones. That's gonna be help you out." That is gonna help you out. Yeah, yeah you got good cheekbones. <laughs> That's yeah. what it is. That was my secret. Hey, you know, the lips. Everybody the- gets something, you know. So, <laughs> you got cheekbones. The lips are the scariest, I think, because there's so are. many people who are not meant to have a top lip. Yeah, and that is what's supposed to happen to you. Right. And you're not allowed actually to do that. If you have like naturally thin lips, they can still work for you. You know, like your face. There are probably beautiful designed. models that Absolutely. have like no upper lip and then a big body. You don't one. need huge fucking lips. You actually, you, it's truly you like, look insane. Like a predator. You look crazy. If you walked in like that, I'd be like, this fucking bitch is out of her mind. Because yeah. Yeah, it's out of nowhere. Yeah. And then and they're like, oh, well, let's not make it look out of nowhere. So let's make you into a cat. Yeah. And then it's a puff th- all the way through here. I'll confess something that what? I just, I got, I you got, got lip, I got hosed. In? No, I didn't get any injects. I got hosed though. And I, and I went for it. I was walking down the street <laughs> in Beverly Hills. Uh-huh. And this lady was like, Hey, come here. And I was like, what? And she's like, God, you're the bags under your eyes are like fucking no. huge. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> she was like, do you want something for it? And I was like, sure. She put this cream Hold on her eyes. Hold yeah. on, out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm literally walking down the street. Okay. I mean, she was probably- Standing in a doorway standing, trying to hand out like gold lotion. And she's in Beverly Hills, so she's probably like, people walking around here can afford she's looking for to me somebody. to rob them. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm wa- I mean, I'm walking to like an appointment and and uh, and she was like, you look so old and she and I was like, thank you. And then <laughs> she was like, do you have a minute? I was like, not really. She's like, well, you need she's, it. You're, yeah. you're, de- you're really desperate. She was like, sit here. And she puts this cream under my eyes and like, I could feel like my face going like this. And I was like, wow, that feels great. And she was like, you should get this cream. And I was like, okay. She was like, it's $700. I was like, no. God damn. And then she, I was like, all right. So I bought, <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> and then, no, this is the best part. It gets better. Okay. Then she was like, I go, I got to go. And she's like, well, just one second. And she was like, Bianca, come here. And uh, this lady comes over and she's like, puts another thing like on my nose and I was like what and then she holds a blue light to it mm-hmm. and she, and I was like and then I felt nothing I was like I don't know what this is and she's like this thing is normally four thousand dollars it's like a dildo it looks like a fucking dildo <laughs> and she's like but today we have like a special sale <laughs> and it's like twenty three hundred dollars and I was like I don't want it okay thank so goodness I, I didn't buy it I was like I'll just take my cream that I'll never use well, have you been using the cream nope <laughs> what Christina and saying? she also took my ID no I, she was like yeah I go um I remember this. She goes, you know, the amount. And I was like, Jesus. And I gave her the card. And she's like, you have your ID? And I thought it meant like to For verify. credit card. I go, sure. Here. And she's like, cool. And she took it and walked away with it. And I was like, what are you doing with that? And she was like, huh? And then came Good back. Good for you for asking. Some yeah. people are just like, this is bad. And I yeah, am yeah. freezing. <laughs> she was crazy. And then she, another did have, thing. Did she give you an answer? Well, she had a, she had, oh, I know there's another thing. She had a heavy accent, right? Uh-huh. So I was like, where are you from? And she said, uh, Barcelona. 
Mm -hmm. And I started speaking to her in Spanish and she didn't speak Spanish well. And I was like, you're from Barcelona? And she was like, well, like I spent, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh no. And uh, she was actually Israeli. Yeah. Yeah. She lied? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she lied. What? You, and you got it out I of think her? it was like $20 cream <laughs> that I paid fucking hundreds of dollars for. <laughs> you, yeah. you were in the front of a CVS. And then I was just like, I got to go to this appointment. And then I shamefully threw the bag in my car. I feel like I just got like gypsied. You yes. know? And I mean that as disrespectfully <laughs> as I can. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. So that happened. Wait, okay, so have you never... I'm sweating right now. Just, just thinking about... Just the... getting uh, getting it out. I feel like I'm, go, I'm at confession right now. Okay. Like, please God, how many Our Fathers do it, I have to say? It's so funny you say that, because when I was getting this coffee, yeah. a guy walked by me, I don't know, I don't know if he had a place to live, and he looked at me and he said, I forgive you. I and it that. honestly kind of felt good. It felt good, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just like, the, I was like, what did I do? But it was just like... I think maybe some guy who thinks he's Jesus and lives on the street or something. Yeah. Just like, I forgive you. I had a street guy do that. To, well, the other day he goes like, hey, where are you going? And I was like, and you know, I wanted to be polite. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm walking over here. He's like, oh, you know, there's another place. And he started just telling me about <laughs> restaurants. And he had like, you know, trash bags and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. And I just would like, kept, and then he wouldn't let me go. You know, like I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate it, man. He was like, you know, another place. You, have you ever seen this place here? They have like a pool and they have a garden. And I just kept being like, I really got to go. And, and he was like, yeah, Charlie Chaplin used to have a, <laughs> a, a house over here. And he just kept talking. And I was like, hey, man, I really appreciate all the information. And he was like, can you help me out? And I was like, you could have fucking led with that. <laughs> like you could have started with that instead of this 25 minute story. And I gave him fucking $700. <laughs> you gave him the cream. Yeah, yeah I gave him the cream. Here, take this Your skin cream. really looks look like, like shit. shit. <laughs> What do you live outside? Oh, you do. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Have you never used any of Christina's stuff in the never, bathroom? Never. And she never tries to put anything on you. Yeah, and like you know, I've, she does or does a couple times. Yeah, couple because times. moisturizing good. It, it is and moisturizing you good. You know, I I remember. <laughs> you know, Pharrell, the, I do. the producer, right? Yeah. Guy's like, I don't know. He's older than me, and he looks fucking younger just than all of us. Perfect. Yeah, let's pull up, pull up a 2021 picture of Pharrell Williams. Yeah, and um, he looks exactly like he looked in like 1997 right yes and they interview i saw an interview or just a little blurb like a year ago mm -hmm. where they were like how do you look this young and he goes i wash my face <laughs> <laughs> and i remember sitting there being like oh yeah i don't wash my face you don't never <gasps> never have you ever gotten a facial yeah okay yeah so that's good it felt good yeah i was yeah. gonna say probably peeled away <laughs> Several oh, years. Yeah. And then and as they do it, they're like, God, you need, like they comment the whole time. They're like, you have, you have, you neglect your skin. And you're like, yeah, I don't know, man. At least you don't smoke. No, but I started to get into cigars. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I am smoking now. Yeah. But not every day. Not and every you day. truly, I think you should try the cream just for a bit. Okay, I'll try it. I mean, I paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. What if they took your ID because there's something like illegal? There's event? something going on. I don't know, man. I don't know. What there's did they do? There's always like snail jizz what did they or do something with it? in it. He knows. We uh, we trade it at our meetings. We just all collect credit card information and then <laughs> sell it off to each other every Friday. Son of a bitch. You, you're going to start getting some sort of magazine to your house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they'll be like, you signed up for this. It's $5,000 a month. What? <laughs> like, yeah, it's going to happen. You, like you're, uh, when you get those emails that are like, you agreed to pay this on PayPal and you're just, I don't, sometimes I don't even know what I've got going. Oh, how many subscriptions do you have going now? Right? <sighs> Remember when it was... You know what? You that's Netflix, actually a hot tip for everybody. Like, is to go onto their phone, go click on your Apple ID, clip, clip, <laughs> click on your name, yeah, and go to subscriptions and, it's and just, see what you got going. Yeah, and you're welcome because you're gonna need to cancel some of those. Yeah, and it's just gonna everything's gonna keep adding. You know, like yeah. I remember trying to read an article five years ago and thinking it was preposterous that one of the major publications was like, you got to pay to, what the fuck, you got to pay to read it? And now you want to read a, a, an article in like the Idaho Star and they're yeah. like, you got to pay for this shit too. Like everybody, you have to pay everybody to read something. Yeah. I remember when water was free? Yes. Yeah. That happened over time that slowly. That happened too now. Look at us. Well, this was free for me. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate cost me you. A, cost me a fortune. <laughs> this is, this does have the vibe of it's good a water. really nice water. Yeah. We were fucking around for a minute, drinking that Arrowhead bullshit, and then no. yeah, you gotta go have yawn. Go it has a certain class, it a does. distinction, it, and you taste it, right? Mm. Mm. Avion, <sighs> kind of French. Je parle un peu français. Eh? Oui. Parle pas français? Un peu. 
Parlez -vous, parlez -vous, parlez -vous français? And then I'm supposed je to say. Je parle un peu français. I'm supposed to say, je ne parle pas français, right? That means oui, I don't speak I don't French. Need. And um, non parlo italiano. I know how to say I don't fucking speak your language. A couple. I tried to take like I did. I tested high into French in college because mm. I took it in high school. Uh -huh. And I think if you're competent, anyway, I, yeah. I tried way too hard on the entrance. The college. You did? How'd you try too hard on it? Well, I was just like I'm tr tried to do well on it. Oh, okay. Why would I do that? I tested into French 301, and okay. they're reading full books. Mm -mm. No good. No. Too much. So I said, can't do that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll take Italian 101. How was that? <sighs> it was bad. It, it was, was hard. Worse. It was worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I had taken it. So I like, uh, they say the whole, it's a they're both love languages. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no. It's I took a, the highest level that they offered in high school of Spanish as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. and, t and so they're like, you're done. You're, there's no other class to offer you. That's so they're nice. like, you should take French. They're like, will and you they, teach you? And they'll be like, it was, it'll be super easy. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. That's what happened to me. I got a D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, do you not try? And I was like, I thought I would just, I just show up and yeah. speak French. And they're like, no. Conjugations, mm -mm. learning all the, I'm over here. Did you watch, sometimes like if I'm watching something in French, did you watch Lupin? Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm wa currently watching the, the new. We just finished you know, it last night. It's good. It's great. It's, it's fun. It's the not final like, episode feels like, Yeah. Some, did someone else direct this? Or? Oh, really? Yeah. Not be, I don't, I'm not an expert on directing. I don't mean it like It just takes. seems. I mean him a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, you'll see. I, a, I'll be interested to actually a, hear what you think. It's entertaining. That's an entertaining show. I love it. Show. Yeah. I do love the show. Yeah. It's got like a kind of Robin Hood-esque, right? Quality yeah. to him. Yeah. There are times during the fights where it's just like, I yeah. don't know. They're not, it's, so I the don't know. My boyfriend called it like European fight scenes. Oh, I got you. Yeah. yeah. They're like, hey man, you know. We you know fly over to American for uh, these uh, stunt scenes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. You know he's gonna win. Of course, he should he's beat these people. He's huge. Yeah. I I, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but there's uh, just a point where you reach in it where you're like, yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Yeah. It's French. I know some people were like, "You mean you got to read?" <laughs> like, yeah. Watch yeah. it with subtitles. Try it. You fucking dipshit. It's the only thing you'll read this year. And we should say that they need to watch Girl Daddy yes, on please. HBO Max. Yes, I would love that. So tell me about getting the special. Like, how did you get it? Where did you shoot it? Mm. So I want to say maybe it was like August of 2019. I was in Milwaukee mm -hmm. at a festival. And I was like, I'll just tape this set, this, my hour, you know. Mm -hmm. And because I so felt like So you just showed, like, close. set up a camera. Yeah. That kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I'm sorry. This is not my special. This is me right. getting the special. Right. So you like, like, let's record this though. <laughs> yeah. Just to see where I am. Uh -huh. Because I had the half hour on Netflix, the standups that yep. came out in 2017. Which is great. Thank you. And um, then they had, you know, I'm sure the, the deal was something like option you within a year. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I never look at anything yeah. I sign. And um, and the year ended and I, I sent them the hour that I had, but also, I mean, I've worked very hard, but I also write for TV. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I'm not full-time stand-up. Right, right. So sometimes I don't cut myself a break where I'm like, well, if you were touring, you maybe have an hour you love right now. Sure. But anyway, so I sent them an, the hour that I had. It was from like Arlington Draft House, which I love that. Have, do you remember that spot? Yes. It's great. Which one? Uh, in... they're all, it's like a movie theater, but they're oddly all in all office rolly chairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but which which location? Oh, oh the in Milwaukee? Arlington, oh, Virginia. Oh, in, in Arlington, Virginia. Yeah. Sorry, because uh, I'm thinking, sorry, I'm thinking of Alamo Draft House, which has okay. multiple locations. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Um, anyway, so I taped that and sent it and I was like, this is fine, but it was just felt disjointed. There wasn't any sort of like, I don't know. Yeah. It was fine. It was an hour of stand up. Sure. But anyway, um, Netflix was like, no. And, um, <laughs> mm. we saw it. <laughs> no. And, uh, and then I just, I was writing on the last OG season three and I was doing that festival. I was like taping and I felt like I was inching towards more of like a theme something more cohesive yeah and that's when jp who books jp Con, buck yeah mm -hmm, um i guess team coco got asked to curate um hbo max's first series of stand-up specials wow and because i've done conan a couple times and the pete holmes show and i worked yeah. for pete on crashing jp knows of me and jp's great yeah he always checks yeah. in he's just awesome so he let me know that that was happening and it asked if I had anything. And I sent him that. I was like, I'll tape this weekend in Milwaukee. And he was like, this is great. Let's do it. Wow. That's awesome. Sorry. That was like a horrible story. That's not a horrible story. <laughs> I also will say this for the few times I did uh, stand up on Conan. He's one of the few people who I feel like 
gives good notes like yeah. notes meaning that you go like oh that's actually okay that makes yeah. sense or like i, I think that is going to make it better he doesn't have an ego because yes. he he doesn't get off on like the scene yeah and he doesn't want anything other than to put on a good show yeah so yeah. Yeah. exactly there's people who have given me notes over the years i'll be like who the fuck do you think you are man oh absolutely you know? like you're dumb yes and i don't care what you i was think. like i don't know <laughs> if you've listened like, to the tape but they JP laughed at good. it yeah like so yeah crazy but yeah he actually I agree. Gives good ones so then you so you you said on that set he's like let's do it and then where do you end up shooting it i filmed it in at the varsity theater in minneapolis oh okay i know that place yeah, yeah. and i really minneapolis is a great comedy town it really is and i hadn't been in a while so that was perfect because yeah. you know you want to go to a place that doesn't know the material sure and uh but they have a high stage mm -hmm. which i actually hate yeah and for re for some reason this hour like you know i it, i my stuff is very personal mm -hmm. i i spent this weekend with some a new friend in georgia a friend of a friend and he was asking me like the classic thing that everyone asks like is that stuff real yeah and i know some comics fabricate or, or lie or get written for or something. Oh yeah, one of my best friends. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but my stuff is like too real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, sure. like that's a hundred percent my life. You People were kind of doing, but you were doing that 10 always. years ago. Always. It's just yeah. all I knew to do. Yeah. And I mean, I was always telling family stories and stuff and my, and somebody was like, I looked up your dad's website and he's real. I was like, yeah. What are you talking about? I don't lie. Yeah. I, I, I understand that they think there's a fabrication. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this hour was particularly personal. And so I just really didn't like, want to be on a high stage. Yeah. And I just, I even found myself like, especially the Bell House in New York. Yeah, you, I've done that. Yeah. yeah. It feels so high. And I found myself like starting to squat mm -hmm. and like, just like get, I know that yeah. sounds so no, weird. It, it ends up, you feel like this is made for music. Yeah. It just feels like I just wanted to get lower. Yeah. And then I, I played this fun place in Salem, um, did I just forget the Washington? Okay. Okay. Oregon. It's Oregon. So okay. sorry. Okay. Anyway. And I like found myself stepping down in front of the stage. Mm -hmm. So then that's why I built a stage in front of the stage at varsity. You did. Yeah. Good for you. So for... I could be in, not in the round, but yeah. like have people surrounding me. Yeah. Cause I just want to be like intimate and it's look at the, people. The thing like the, the longer you do this, I remember just being like, you, you would 10 years ago, I would have been like, I don't like being up this high, but I'll just be up this oh, high. Oh yeah, and I and I won't, you know what I mean? And Absolutely. And then after you do this a while, you're like, no, 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 I this want to do it like this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you find out that people like when they're like, well, you know, you go, no, this is what, and they push go, back. They'll do it, but then yeah. they'll do it. JP didn't push back. Uh, he was like, we'll make it happen. Don't worry. But it was Rory at the at like Conan's holiday party. He was like, uh, you know, you're oh, congrats on the hour. I know you're yeah. doing one. And I was like, yeah, but they just don't like the stage. He's like, no, fight for what you want. Yeah. He's like, it's your special. Sure. And like, have you seen you, his thing? I, um, I don't think I have. He's on YouTube. I gotta he, watch it. Oh my god, where it's he great. does six I'm behind. nights, uh, unplanned, like off the top of his dome, and I'm like, Terrifying. what? In the, yeah, it's like the scariest thing. I, I mean, will say the most fun I've had is when he, we did smuggle a little weed before us. I'm, I'm like, open my briefcase. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm. I have a plan. Yeah. I'm too type A. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, Come, we were in Montreal, and he's like, yeah. let's just smoke a little. Yeah, he can just... That can go very wrong. Oh, it's gone it very right. wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's gone very wrong for yeah. me too. But yeah. it happened to go right that time. It was very it's fun and crazy silly. that he can... Yeah, and that. by the way, that's not like what he does every night and that's how he does it. No, I know. He knows He's how to do... brilliant. He can do script. He can, you know, write material and do it. But like his off the dome stuff, you're just like, oh my God. Like, it's fun to do that for a few minutes sometimes. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, let's play around. He's doing it just for the whole show. Yeah, I would say mine's like, no hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm yeah. like, and we're back. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. he is brilliant. He but is he brilliant. was one who pushed me to say like, no, fight for what you want. You get exactly what you want. That's good advice. Yeah. And then it was actually, like a lot of my friends in comics helped me get ready for this hour. Isn't it great when you think about like, the community you go like yeah. man the, it's it's so, so awesome thankful. to be in this community of comedians truly yeah i was at the store a couple weeks before i was filming sklar brothers are watching and i walk off stage and they gave me a bunch of tags one's like the closer to my special they're oh. fantastic i did a show with them about a month ago and i got off stage and they're like we thought of a few tags for you and i i used a couple that crushed yeah, yeah. isn't it great yeah it's so fun it's I, the funny thing is like uh, and now like a bunch of people on Twitter are like, let me give you a tag. And you're like, you? No, not you. <laughs> oh, not yeah. you. No, no. Not you at all. Yeah, I wasn't looking for you. It has note. to be someone to you respect. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite message to get is like, hey man, I thought of, uh, 
I thought of a joke for you. Hit me back if you want it. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I still get emails to my website that are like, um, I've written this script. You're going to die laughing. Uh huh. I'm just I'm like, <laughs> do you ever get the people like people go like, hey, you have any advice, you know? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, or whatever. And then sometimes they go, I have like 45 minutes. So he's never, I've never done it. I'm like, you don't have 45 minutes. A hundred percent. You don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you remember Colleen? She used to go to Montreal GFL and she booked, she helped book Cap City for a while. Yeah. She was in that world. Mm -hmm. I remember after I was a new face, she was like, how much time do you have? And I was like, 40? Mm -hmm. She's like, but honestly, I was yeah, like 30. 30. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, we'll feature you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, um, I remember being over at Rami's and I was talking to Uzzer Usman. I don't know if you know him, he's a Chicago guy. Uh -uh. And I was like making him laugh, ripping on um, Aziz's special. <laughs> um <laughs> okay <laughs> only the beginning i mean it was so silly it was like what was the uh, he just came out and was sort of like sat down and it was just basically like oh. i'm gonna need to sit down for this all oh, right yeah and i just sort of like i've hey. been a naughty boy <laughs> yeah i just felt silly <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway that poor son of a bitch <laughs> just went on a bad date <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even read that dude he, I did not. I was like, I was like, I don't need to look at any of this. He was railroaded the most by this whole <laughs> movement in that he went on a date that had, they had, uh, uh, what's it? I can't think of the word. Um, come. What? Uh, fucking. Kombucha. Con consensual. Yes. Because <laughs> I never, I never asked for it. So, I was say, you haven't had to use it in so long. I, I'm always like, it's just mine. She so, just hears you licking your finger. And <laughs> <laughs> So he goes on this date. <laughs> the girl in the story is like, we went on the date. We're at his place. You know, you I'm blowing him. <laughs> then we stop. We go over here. These fingers are down my throat. Then we make out. Then we're like blowing. And you fish It's me. like, yeah. It's, but she's like, and I didn't enjoy any of it. <laughs> but, but I didn't tell him. And then the next day I was like, I didn't enjoy that. And he was like, I'm sorry. And then put it in like. A written article, wrote an article about it, and then people were like, "You article. bastard!" I think loose, you know, you know, it's, term yeah, it's not really an article, but <laughs> but I always felt I was like, this poor guy. I mean, like he went on a date, yeah, and then the girl wrote about it and was like, "I didn't enjoy the things that I did with him." Oh, it's like okay. I mean, I'm all down for a Yelp review, but I <laughs> yeah. God damn it, that would be the worst. If the somebody, worst. I'm trying to think about stuff I did, like they're like. And she did. I, I, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. It was the time I put I a finger it. in someone's butt <laughs> without anything. Yeah. I mean, they. I asked, and they were like, "Sure, you know." Yeah. But I was so naive. Like I didn't. Nothing. nothing, nothing. Just dry. Just dry. He like. Do you know? hey. And then it was like, I need to go to the bathroom to scrape this dry <laughs> finger. Yeah. I need alcohol. I need yeah. latex gloves. Oh, I need yeah. surgery. Dude, do you know what happened to me? So <laughs> one time, <laughs> many years, many moons ago, I hooked, I went, went out with this girl. We went to her place. And as we're doing it, I'm on top of her. Yeah. She reached around, starts playing with my asshole. And she was like, yeah, like looked up at me and I was like, mm, okay. And then she's just like finger blasting me as I'm, <laughs> as I'm having sex with her. And then she gets, you know, on all fours and I'm like, I guess this is what you like, right? Yeah. That's why you did it to me. Right. So I'm just like, pa, pa, pa. And then we're done. I go to bed. She goes, wait, we, do you not wash your hands? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. I wake up the next morning, chocolate, just no! all dried. I'm caked. so sorry for the sound it's there. It's okay. It's all caked to my finger. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh my God, Tom. Yeah. And then I, yeah, went in there and I was like, probably should have done that last night. Yes. Yeah. That's. And then I wrote an article about it. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's yeah. shit was dry as hell. Ugh. It took hours to get up, but that marinated on there. It sure did. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if that guy wrote that about you. Me? Yeah. yeah. She dry fingered my bee hole. Beth didn't even ask. <laughs> I did ask, but I had to wash immediately. Yeah. And then it. Beth didn't even lube. <laughs> I didn't lube. Beth didn't even spit. No. What I, a selfish, selfish woman. I know. Yeah. It, I just can't believe I. I feel I, like I'm a smart person. Yeah. Why would I do Why, that? Yeah. And also me, if somebody. I mean, I've been dry fingered in ninth grade. It sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, why wouldn't I apply the same thing to your hole? Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know, Beth. I know. It, it's the things that we keep us up at night <laughs> are these thoughts, right? I know. I'm trying to think if I ever gave another bad time. Mm. Like if I did anything weird or I'm pretty normal in bed. I'm yeah. boring. I mean, I, I like having sex. I, I mean, remember sleeping with a girl who was like, she was real excited. For, and then when we started, she was like, hmm. Like, Ooh, what was, do you think it was? I don't know. Did you do too much twirling? I think I was just like too... I think I was too like too sweet big. to her. No, <laughs> fuck no. I love it when guys say that to me. Thing Does is, I just fucked big? too hard. And uh, no, I think I was too like nice to her. She um, was like, I thought you were a little more. A little dirtier. Uh, yeah. And then um, when it was over, mm -hmm. it was like, I, I think of it as role reversal. I was saying something. She goes, you don't need to talk. And I was like. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. That must have made you feel bad. Oh yeah. I felt yeah. terrible. I was like, okay. Yeah. I've had the, is it, oh, is it too big? And I'm like um no i'm just like not into it yeah it was a Is guy who was so big? old it was like he i can't describe it it's like he came dust uh -huh. it was so <laughs> <laughs> it was like what have you been eating uh, i've never experienced anything like really? that since i've experienced i've experienced such a large load that it got in my eye which stings i had to ice that guilty not to you i'm saying <laughs> to uh, other people <laughs> yeah yeah um and then dribbling like uh -huh. barely anything yeah it's it's interesting i, I like talking about and asking other guys like cause yeah vaginas are also different too sure they look different yeah, they all feel the penises different. are different all the penises the are, jizzes different. are different i mean i remember it, uh, having thinking that everybody i i jizz like buckets. a lot <laughs> yeah and always have and i remember <laughs> one of my roommates in college i was like i don't know i was like he has you know, something about jerking off and i was like well what do you do with all of it he was like with what and i was like well all the jizz he was like oh no he's grab a tissue i'm like a tissue <laughs> and he was like what do you do i was like i grab shirts and fucking towels and Hand blankets towels. and i go it's fucking not ever and he's like what are you talking about and he was he told me he has like five drops that come out wow and i was like my shit is a fire hose like, <laughs> i was like it's like eight of your dicks tied together yeah. <laughs> coming at once <laughs> Yeah, I don't even and I asked the doctor. I was like, what's going on? He's like, you're just that's you're just lucky. You have a Yeah, you're just lucky. Yeah, he was like, that's you know, I mean, I would imagine it's helped you guys conceive more easily But I don't know I, that's not really because I don't have more sperm. I just okay. produce more semen See this and I have a prolong like a longer You know the contractions right like mm -hmm. a, a contraction like an or, orgasm. Yeah, like so the the penis like kind of contract right? It's like yeah pump pump pump. What is it when it's like what do you mean at the <laughs> you know what it's like vibrating it's like, yeah like like, at the like if it's in your mouth <laughs> i guess you wouldn't know hold on when they're in my mouth i'm always like hmm can i get another hmm oh, i got room uh i'm gonna put another one in there <laughs> anyway greg fitzsimmons and i were talking about this he was I like he him. said that he's like he's like i bet i'd be good at sucking a dick and i was like yeah yeah i bet you would be too no i i'm I, trying to think if you would his hand is not well, the thing huge. is, like, if you're a guy, you go, like, I know exactly what I like. That's true. I've right? had men go down on me so badly. I'm like, <laughs> and you're like, let me down there. Yeah. Because you would to be able see. to teach them. Yeah. Like, I just want to oh. see how hard it is. Right. Like, it feels like just focus on the top. I know everyone's different. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. Just focus on the top. There's not much. Not like, too you hard. You don't need to, like, yeah, definitely not too hard. Start softly. Gently. Yeah. Softly, gently, maybe with the tip of your tongue a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm so much, like maybe eat, think of it like licking a ice cream cone or something. Okay. This is good advice. There's yeah. a lot of guys watch this show. Tell them. Yeah. I would just say start gently. Mm -hmm. Never bite. If you're going to suck, <laughs> certainly don't do it hard. Right. You know, it right. would just be like, you wouldn't want me. And don't do it a, out of the gate. Right. Not like start with. Like, don't. <laughs> no. Like, oh my God. Right. Right. It's like <laughs> if somebody grabbed your dick and was like, <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, just slowly yeah ease in let's ease sorry for that fucking, let's warm it up a little bit yeah man. warm it up yeah. warm it up start slow and then i would just say like um a consistent like that'll do it that'll do it yeah a consistent tongue lick there you go and then i think like some guys like to kiss around down there and stuff and it's like it's fine i guess okay well you know what you like that's my point right yeah like, it's like you're saying every v, v is different every d is different you know yes you just got to learn what the person that you're with likes. Yeah. And like you said, the hard part, I well, you said it, actually, we were talking about stand-up, but you eventually just get to a point where you have to just say what you like. Right. You know, you have to be like, 
and, another and thing by that the comes way, with maturity. I yeah, think, you right? all, I've also had guys say stuff to me that haunted me. Really? Yes, like, he'll love this because he's listening. Yeah, yeah. My boyfriend said something to me, like, one of the first times we were sleeping together. Uh-huh. I mean, this fucked with me for months. It was bad, actually. Okay. So I'm on top of him, which is how I like to come. Okay. And I'm not thinking anything of it. And in fact, the feedback I've previously gotten is like, oh, you know your body so well, and this is hot. This is great. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So I'm doing my thing, mm-hmm. and he's like, easy, Tony Hawk. You're grinding really hard on me. But like a joke in the bedroom, it's not that I'm against him at all. I wasn't like, that's not nice. Yeah. yeah. I laughed at the time, but then like, you think I'm going to get on top of you again and come? Right. Are you stupid? Yeah. Are you stupid? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Don't bring up Tony while we're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> God. So, I mean, obviously, I talked to him about it. Did he show up it. with elbow pads next time and the fucking <laughs> helmet? He's like, I got you something. <laughs> oh, wow. He runs those little finger uh, skateboards Easy. over my You're body. You're grinding on me. Yes. And I don't really think it was that hard. Also, he's a huge man. Mm-hmm. Um, let's blame it on him. He's got yeah. a juicy butt. Maybe I was too high up, which made me more heavy on him than I'm used to. He's got a to. big juicy back. Really great butt. Wow. I'm jealous. Yeah. Really jealous because, like, I have the worst butt, like the worst butt I've ever seen. And as you age, it's just dripping, me. dude. I'm like, you know, and then I'm trying to squat, just anything to make yeah. it. I don't know. I was blessed with also a tank ass. Really? Yeah. Me really and lucky. my sister. Really, that's that's really fantastic. I was a gymnast for a long time. Oh, that helped. Yeah. And I play field hockey, like, still to so this day. Quads, butt, everything. Party thighs. Yeah. yeah. My mom used to call my legs tree trunks, which I tried to explain Feels was damaging. Good. Yeah. But yeah, you could parkour off these babies. Like, you're so big below the weight. Thanks, mom. <laughs> I got too tall to be a gymnast. Yeah. Uh, my mom paid for. Oh my god. I mean, could you do it. flips and everything like all? Oh that? yeah. Wow, that shit is so amazing to me. Yeah. You know, even when they you see the floor routine, like a little, I'll see a clip of it. Oh my god, that I'm will like, always pull me in. If I see like, I don't go to the, the discover the area run. much, <laughs> but if I see somebody sharing yeah. something or seeing, I watch it all always. Yeah. Gymnastics is so cool to watch. It's cool. And those bodies. Holy oh crap. Oh my God. Yeah. They all have amazing physiques. They're ripped. Although yeah. I did have pecs for a really long time. Really? Yeah. My no tits kept me, like, kept me probably. But you were probably, longer. how often were you, you were training every day or five, six um, days a week? I was on like the team is what they called it. So it was serious. Like yeah. I, it wasn't just like Saturdays. I was there Monday, Wednesday, Friday training each evening after school. Mm-hmm. But I really shot up. I kind of got a little too tall. And then I just wasn't as serious about it. Like, I think yeah. you know when you're going to be bound for the Olympics. So the real, like, high, high elite ones, they all are, like, 4'10". Yeah, right? they're sh- they're small. And it doesn't mean, like, Dominique Dawes, I think, was one of the taller women. I, I met the Magnificent Seven from the 1997, like, Atlanta Gymnastics, or er, cool. American team. Like, yeah. I have their poster. Yeah. And they signed it because that's when I was in, in, in it. it. Yeah. 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 Um, but what, wait, what were you just saying? Oh, yeah. What How was, small they are? Oh, yeah. They are pretty small. Yes, they're yeah, little people. They're little. But, um, yeah, and the boobs thing, I, I always say, like, I don't know what, it, I think it's probably like a weightlifting thing or they bounce them off. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I've seen, like, I saw some gymnast dude and they're, like, their physiques are just, yeah. You're like, this is an unachieved, I like, can't, this can't be a goal. No, like, but they start so early. They start so early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they were, just, I mean, it looked like the dude was drawn. You know, like yeah. every muscle popping. And, yeah. And then he's just like standing and grabs the rings and it's like, yeah. and hangs there for a while. And you're like, oh my God. And I think when you, it's like with stand up, everyone's like, oh, it's so scary. I could never do that. But if yeah. you start when you're 20 or something or whatever you are, yeah, like, yeah. you're not really doing the math or the calculations. You're just stupid enough to think people want to listen to you. Yeah. And so I think it's the same thing with gymnastics. Like you're just like not thinking about all the ways your neck can break. You're just, yeah. Like, yeah, I'll do that. That looks and fun. I totally can. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think if we had any major. Injuries. I mean, like the the worst thing that happened to me was, you know, the classic trying to do a trick on the beam and just kunk, yeah, right on your pubis. I thought uh, I got my period. I was so young, I didn't know how you got it. I was like, well, that's gonna do it. Yeah, I probably just got my period. You probably just did. I didn't. No, you just <laughs> it didn't shake it you. out of me. No, no. <laughs> You know, whether you're stressed out or you're um, an elite athlete like me, Theragun can really help out your body. You know, with my ankle being broken, my PT guy, physical therapy guy said, do you have like a massaging device? And I go, I do. Theragun. I mean, Tommy and I were just using Theragun 
in our everyday it's life because it is the best. You feel so relaxed, so relaxed after. It's just like it's better than a massage. Um, and it goes 60% deeper than vibration alone. It uses its signature percussive therapy. And what that means is you're not going to have any muscle tension. So maybe you're working out or you have an injury like the two of us. And we've been using Theragun Gen 4. Theragun Gen 4. Try it out. The OLED screen and design make you feel like you're holding something from the future. Just go to their site, check it out. And the Theragun app learns from your behaviors and suggests guided routines. Try Theragun for 30 days, starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash mom right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash mom, therabody.com slash mom. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by him. 66% of men start to lose their hair by age 35. Confirmed. <laughs> Once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late. Also the truth is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards. Any bald spots? Yes. Yes. Well, now <laughs> it's time to do something about it. Go to 4 the one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have hair. Hims is helping guys be the best versions of themselves with licensed medical providers, FDA approved products to help treat hair loss. No snake oil pills or gas station supplements. These are prescription solutions backed by science. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. Right now, our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to 4 slash mom. That's 4 slash mom. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash mom. I just, uh, this <laughs> is a folder I have that's called Horrible or Hilarious. And they put, they put video clips in it of things that are either going to make me go like, ugh, or laugh okay. at the horror. Mm -hmm. So I haven't seen this one yet. Um, so here we go. This is a guy... I don't know what he's doing. But he's peeing. Yeah. Looks like he has a beard. Oh, oh my God. Where'd he go? What <laughs> did he just fully blow up? He pissed on an electrical line. <gasps> uh huh. And then it shot his body back? Where'd he go? Uh, he went up into the heavens. <laughs> this dude died? This is super Stop. dead. Stop. But look, see top left? Yeah. There's something going on back there. Yeah, that's part of his body, I think. No. Right? What's. I see. I don't even know where he went. He's either in the smoke. Does the video end there? Wait, and then there's something here that's censored, right? There's like, you see but, the bottom right? Because is this So CCTV? is that a body part that, that, oh man. It felt a little choppy. Like we missed Oh no, okay, that's there the whole just time. The website okay. thing. I, I just got news though, this man is okay. Oh, what? Wow. He, he has survived. Really? The hospital just called. They just called us. He's fine. He's gonna make it. Oh my God. What would the zap do to you? Like maybe if you were depressed, you wouldn't be anymore. I had a mini zap one time, wet. I, I hit uh, um, like a off button getting out of a pool in Florida. Oh my God. And I this is, I got a little, Z yeah, and it's zap. freaky. But you know, I didn't get, it wasn't like this shit. It was mm -hmm. just like a little zap, but it's the most like. Was uh, it through your it, whole body? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it, just, just, I felt you feel, it's like when you know those apparatus, the thing you can handshake thing and fuck yes. with people but it I've felt that, more actually. yeah i hate it i hate I that feeling oh god yeah, i wouldn't like it so crazy i think if we got to see that more detailed we'd have a more visceral reaction i know like i still did yeah but... i got a few more for okay you. i'm ready <laughs> oh! i can't tell if that was a kid dress <laughs> dress like mario ah! or <laughs> Or an old man. That was an old man. It was man. shaped like a jelly bean. <laughs> I think it was, yeah, it was the last. It was like a jelly bean with eyebrows. Oh my God. That had to hurt a lot. <laughs> oh. They're okay. She's going to be okay. They're okay. Yeah. Both. That's what it pays. That was in to Russia. Curvy. That was Russia. Yeah, wow. she's got a nice ass. She looks great. Yeah. <laughs> nice thighs. As she was falling, I was like, ooh, yeah. kill him. Yeah. Uh. Yo, the fuck? 
Oh my god. It's like his his shins went up past his it's knee. It's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. New knees, new ankles, new hips. You know those like little collapsible like wooden dolls that you push up yeah. and then they're like mm. Yeah. That Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's my favorite one, I think. <laughs> when rain boots. Oh. I mean, what was the goal? Was it to jump off the roof? I think it was. Yeah, he 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 may have been drunk enough to just he could have survive been like, that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go upstairs. Just roll camera. <laughs> I'm gonna make this jump in my rain boots. It, thankfully, it was just like a one-story house. It did seem doable, Ka- kind of. But then when you look at it, you're like, yeah, dude, but you're jumping like oh, man. I don't know what eight, ten feet. Like <laughs> this is not good jumping either. <laughs> oh my! <Dice. laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Can't stutter step like that right before I'm you go. I'm gonna piss myself. That is so funny. Can uh, we just see that one more time? Yeah, sure. He's a really good jumper. A prime athlete right here. <laughs> Die! <laughs> what did he say? Die? Yeah, I think that's uh, said oh my somewhere God. abroad. <laughs> Die! He's that old. It's almost like unbelievable that he was. We didn't see that the end goal was to try to make it to the other side. It felt like he was just going to jump in the crack. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, I think if I keep this pace up, I would clear it. So I'm going to slow down and then jump like this. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Um, Is that it? People getting hurt is my favorite. Fucking, You you like it? I love it. Oh, this is an amateur. If I watch over and over again, I can really get myself going. Really? Oh, yeah. This is an amateur wrestling match here. Do an elbow drop. The guy on the table is like me Shit. during like, sex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but the guy on the table is like what it feels like when you're having sex and someone, like whether the guy or the girl, when one of us has to go to the bathroom. It's oh. like you're just like oh. <laughs> waiting for them to come back. Mm. <laughs> Can we do that one more time? Sure. You want to see it in slow motion? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Yeah, that it's a hip hurt. It's a shattered elbow as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And just to do it in undies. Uh, all the wrong parts terrible. are getting covered. It's do you just, know you know ICP, right? I don't think so. Insane Clown Posse? Oh yeah, yeah. They um so I, I just love this clip. This just came in. Uh well I'll just play it for you. Okay. Shaggy, did you guys meet Bobby Lee when y'all did Mad TV way back when? And Burt Kirshner said he met you before. True or false? <laughs> Yeah, I met Burt Kirshner before. Yes, uh, he was he was with uh, Sal Volcano. <laughs> they were at the uh, Fox Theater, so and uh, I went backstage to holler at Sal Volcano. 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 That's my boy. And, and then you seen Burt Kirshner. And Burt Kirshner was there. <laughs> it's almost like he's trying to hurt his feelings. Yeah, and I think uh, Burt Kirshner said his, his sister was like a wackadoo or some shit for ICP or something. I, I can't remember. What a it was. wackadoo. But no, he's a cool dude. Yeah, fucking real cool dude. And I seen his show. His show's mad funny on Netflix. He's a fucking mad, ninja, he's dog. He's mad funny. Yeah, he is. He's just always on fucking yeah. level 10, huh? What up, Burt Kirshner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, so people mispronouncing his name K- is a real K- thing. Kirshner. Even he has a show on TBS. Yeah. He's the host of the show. Bert. called Yeah, it's called Go Big Show. It's a talent show. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wow. He's the host. Congrats, and Bert. Snoop Dogg is a judge and Rosario Dawson. And all. Whoa. So this is a promo from from TBS, the sh- the channel producing the show. <laughs> Go Big Show. Thursday night on TBS. Cody Rhodes, of course, Snoop Dogg, Jennifer Nettles, Rosario Dawson, and Burt Krishna. <laughs> Can you imagine if yeah, Burt was like, Indian? What? No. And then... I think the guy corrects him, or this is a different Snoop and Cody Rhodes, a part of Go Big Show. Set your DVRs now to watch Snoop, Rosario Dawson, Jennifer Nettles, Cody Rhodes, and host Bert, Bert Kersher. Bert Kersher? Kersher? And then the other guy correct, corrects him. 9, 8, 7 Central on TBS. Bruce Kreischer. Kreischer, son. Bruce, Bruce Kreischer. Kreischer. <laughs> They're like, we're paying this person real money, and we don't know his name. <laughs> Bruce 
That's the better one. That Bruce Kreischer is great. Oh my god. What's the stand-up's name again? Bert Kreischer. You can look up Hey Big Boy or um I love how The Machine. This is his Those demo. Those are some of his stand-ups. Huh? This is his demo. This is his demo, yeah. In a St. Cloud Rossi or a 12-year-old girl. Even fucking other <laughs> comedians can't get it right. I'm going to be performing in Colorado on, I know this was September the 8th at Red Rock. So you're welcome to come if you want to come and have a laugh. Me and Bert Chrysler. <laughs> Chrysler? Did he do that on purpose? I don't think, think so. <laughs> I think they correct him. Bert Chrysler. Chrysler. <laughs> Bert Chrysler. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I should know Bert his Chevron. name. I should know I his should name. Know. Yeah. yeah, that's what you go for with your career, you yeah. know, like people saying like, I should know him. Uh, I just don't want to. Yeah. I should know his name, but I, I've chosen not to learn it. Unbelievable. <laughs> and, and this is Jim's actual show, his own show. I think he's a, uh, yeah, I guess it is his own show. I don't know about that. Yeah. That's a good title. No, you're not feeling it? I don't know. It's tough. To, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That name, Jim. <laughs> That's a thing to title, you know, to come yeah. up with a title. Like you like, guys wouldn't have known no. when you started. No. Had a name. I, don't, I think it's the worst part about when you have a special, like, what are you calling I it? Know. I delay it. I keep kicking it down. I'm like, I'll, I'll it give it to really you. It is really hard. And then you start thinking, oh, you know, is that too on the nose? Is I that, know. You know. I My albums are named like that. I, uh, simply the best. It's like, do I regret yeah, it? Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah, who cares? At the end, you're just like, I don't I know. I don't give a shit. No one cares. They I just literally care hate if my they albums. like it. Yeah, everybody hates their albums, right? I mean, well, I'm sure some people love them. Some people yeah, in our nobody, world, nobody you look think at is themselves good. as gods. Yeah, nobody you think is good is like, I love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not good. No, no. Even like, and then of course, like the 40th person will be like, you should name it best selling. Best selling is good. Burke Kaiser. <laughs> was that a mail-in yeah, that's a different one <laughs> Bert Crazier <laughs> there's, there's so many the level of disrespect yeah. it's fantastic Brett <laughs> no that one's not real that's real yeah it's all the same guy he doesn't know how to say it he's like is the R silent he says that at one point is the R silent when when did you learn how to read man <laughs> Bet. bent bent Brent Kaiser, Bert, yeah. Bruce. Now, have you worked with him too? Is that how you guys knew each other from working together or no? I feel like um, the, maybe the Vegas Comedy Festival. You guys worked together there. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think the first time. Yeah, or maybe it was like Montreal, mm -hmm. Just for Laughs or something like that. But I do know we did that Vegas festival together. Yeah. We went to Spearmint Rhino. I'm, I, I can't do Vegas. It's a good time. Yeah. The Spearmint Rhino thing, it was... It got sad pretty fast. The only th I was just talking about strip clubs with George Perez and the fact that I go the only, like the fun thing about a strip club is going with a group. Yeah, and we did. Yeah. We went. All the comics went. We yeah. sat in the back. Yeah. You got sad though I, for like the reality. I of did something's burning, and we talked about it again. Mm. And um, there was a guy in front of us getting a lap dance, and mm. we saw we see her dancing in front of him. She's not like. Yeah. But she's just like, you know, looking sexy. And then mm. the minute she goes over his shoulder and he can't see her anymore, she's like yeah, dead face. Yeah. And it was like, ooh, yeah, I want to go home. That's, mm. Yeah. And it's not the saddest thing I've ever seen, but it was just sort of like. But it's up there. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, if you see, that's the thing is, well, that's the funny thing because George made that point of, uh, yeah, like, sell me, like do the act. Yeah. Uh, don't be real. I need you. <laughs> yeah. I need you to pretend like Sell it the you whole time. This. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretend For me this. to feel okay with what's yes. happening. Yeah. I've been to one male strip club. It was for a bachelorette party. How was it? And when we first got there, I, I have like germophobic tendencies. I'm not crazy about it. But like before, when I was touring, I'm the person who brings like Lysol, a little pack of Lysol wipes uh -huh. and like wipes things down okay. when I get to my hotel room. So it's nothing yeah. crazy, but I just. Smart though, because those places <clears throat> are gross. They are. Yeah. Um, but we went to this male strip club. I forget what it was called. Something gardens, Olympic gardens in Vegas. And when we first got there, I was just like, eh, cause the guys are like shaved and you can feel a little stubble and they're like glittered up. And it's like, this feels weird. And you know, yeah. they don't, it's the, I think it's what you said. I know they don't actually want me. You it's, know what I mean? But yeah. they're, it's just so fake. <laughs> I mean, of course it's fake. I'm not about to yeah. like fall in love and start dating a stripper. Yeah. I don't, it's not like I'm going there looking for a partner. I don't know what it just feels like. Do you like. love me? <laughs> That's what I request in my lap dance. I'm like, just tell me you love me. 
we had a, I had a friend who was a roommate of one of my good friends and I go over to my friend's house and uh, he goes to his room and he goes, tell Tom, tell Tom. And he's like, <laughs> and the guy's like, no, I don't want, he's like, tell him, tell him what you've been, where you've been going. And the guy's like, I've been going to this strip club. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, tell me what you've been spending there. And he's like, I mean, I've been spending like 700 a night. And this is like uh, 12 years ago or when something. When he certainly didn't have it. No, working retail job. And I was like, $700 a night. No. He's like taking out advances on his credit card. And then he said the thing that we, were, we looked at each other and we were like, no. He goes, the thing is, she really likes me. And we were like, oh, oh no. no. Like he you was actually. You and like five other people. He was like so hooked, he believed it, completely believed it. Yeah, he was like, she's well, really into me. in some ways I can understand because yeah, after a couple hours happen. and a couple drinks, sure. I was like, maybe this guy is into me. Sure. And it got fun. <clears throat> and if you, that, that listen, that was horrible. Don't do that. <laughs> so. It got fun and yes. I mean, because he like picked me up, like the lap dance isn't just him on me. It involved like picking me up and yeah. moving me acrobatically. Like, yeah, so you're like, oh my God. Sex, yeah. Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, also, For if, a night. if that man or the, <clears throat> the, the, woman the female the stripper does uh, also like can just click with you like in a fun way yes then you then both... i could see you being like seduced by it and being like yes oh. and then like this guy pro oh, this guy wasn't dating so he's like you know it's substituting what would have been real yeah. relationships and then he's just like 20 grand in the hole after a couple weeks <laughs> oh man so crazy so crazy yeah because he could have been getting more for that money definitely like all he was getting was like an endorphin rush, you know. The the real test would have been getting her to a different location. Yeah, and her and hearing. Hey, can I take you to dinner? Reasons why she can't. Yeah. Would have been like, oh no, I understand. She's like, you know, this is a bit, right? Uh, and he's like, what's a bit? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm married. Uh, okay. But thank you so much because my boyfriend just got a new car. <laughs> and you bought it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool thank you oh my god the fuck oh tear his heart out yeah can you Im i cannot imagine being like i've been spending all this money with you and she's like yeah me and my boyfriend are loving it and you're like oh. what <laughs> i mean i've had that on the like micro level sure it was like college spring break we went on a cruise which ugh, i i don't know why i agreed to that but there was i was single at the time and there was another guy who i thought was single and he was just like spending the whole week with me and it was like it did feel I don't know. It felt like he was like kind of into me. And then last day we're in Mexico and we go into this gift shop and he was like, will you help me pick out something for my girlfriend? And I was like, what? Did you say that to him? I just, my face I'm sure Your showed face it. showed it, yeah. Yeah, and again, we didn't hook up or anything. It just was like. You're spending all this time together. That was the, probably the most, you know, comparable experience where I yeah. really felt like he was leading me on. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not. Did you I say anything I though or no? Or you like, I told the other girls, I was like, he's absolutely single. They were like, really? You guys have been together like the whole week. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't feel good. But no. also I was like, I was definitely, my self-esteem was way lower. Mm -hmm. I was just chubbier and I was just like, yeah, of course he wouldn't let me. Well, what's Adam doing now? I don't know. I don't think he has a special Paying on HBO. Strippers. Yeah. Yeah, special on HBO, Adam? I didn't fucking think so. Yeah. Seems like you made the wrong choice. Yeah, dipshit. <laughs> I do have some people crawling back. I do you? Yeah, just like, yeah, all of a sudden interested. I'm like, you truly never gave me the time of day. Yeah. Isn't that a... It's just, yeah, it's interesting. Or even t even just like people from college who weren't that nice to me texting me like, here, I have this new app. Do you, are you interested? Uh -huh. Can you post about it? Like, post about it. No. Yeah. What are you talking about? I got hit up by some people I knew a long time ago who were like, hey, you're coming to this city. We all got tickets. And I was like, cool. And they go, uh, we're going to be staying at this hotel if you want to pop by. And I go, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, actually. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, no, you don't have time. I'm like, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Stop by and see you. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I well, maybe people don't understand, and maybe you're different. But when someone is like, "Hey, do you want to get a drink before, or like dinner before?" I'm like, "Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm busy with like anxiety and diarrhea." But yeah. um, no, I don't want to sit down and talk to you about your life before I have to talk to a group of people for an hour. Yeah, no, that's it. Now I think I've just gotten more. Comedians only want to hang after the show. Yes, talk to me after. Yeah, I and then I'll like, be relieved. People both do this they go uh hey i'm coming to your show we're over here at this bar come by and i'll, get, I'll buy you a drink i'm like oh yeah i got it and then <laughs> and then they go we were just at your show we're at this bar are you coming by it's like no <laughs> and then you're like i have another show and they're like just run over here and then run back to your show and you're like you don't know how this works no at all i yeah. know obviously it's very fun but it's a job it's totally a job yeah this is work man yeah we're at work especially over time i'm just less I don't know. Yeah, this isn't less a fucking... inclined to like talk or hang after. Right. Because I just talked for an hour. Of what course. What more would I say? You literally know everything about me. And then they're like, "Hey, so do it again." Like, <laughs> I know that's one of those things where you're just like, I want to be like, no, you you entertain me now. Yeah. You tell me a story. You go ahead. Yeah. Let's see what then you, you got. Then you have to just like listen to movie quotes and yeah, yeah, things they think are funny and stories <laughs> that happened to them. Yeah, the fucking movie quotes. <laughs> Hey man, like more cowbell. And you're like, All right, I gotta go. Blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like, a, yeah. That's how I got my laugh yeah. when I was sixteen. Sure, this is a very important uh, PSA. I want you to watch over here, just so you're aware. Okay. I just want to let all y'all know out there, watch for waspies because they'll sting you, and then you look like me. <laughs> But it's hot today, so make sure you drink water. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Was First the, of all, was the watch for the... waspies. <laughs> watch for waspies? You mean wasps? And also, have, where did he read it? Uh, <laughs> have you ever heard anybody say waspies? No. <laughs> ever? No. Nobody. Waspies. Also, the crusty, the clown hair, it's like, did he do it for the video? <laughs> or is that... Like, I can't tell if he's really, I think he's partly trying to make us laugh. He, he is trying to make us laugh. He just got stung by waspas. And then he also throws in, drink a lot of water, it's hot. <laughs> so he's got, he's got all kinds just of genuinely nice advice tip. going on. He's Watch got the for waspas. <laughs> and he's got the croakies going. Oh, yeah. Um, Dude. Is that a baby like seat? Was, in the, a car seat in the back? Yeah, I think you're right. God damn it. <laughs> all the wrong people are procreating. <sighs> Man. Um, yeah. I also feel like they stung him really all over. Yeah. His whole face. It's crazy to get stung in the face. How would you not have the, you can't, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, bat it away. Right. Like as with the waspus comes <laughs> near you, none of that? Yeah. I don't know. Face. It's like it's got his lips. It really Maybe it was a lips. whole reaction. Yeah. And I think, I mean, he's clearly talking about more than one. These are waspus. So... <laughs> You know, I wish you would have told us how it happened. Like, don't poke a waspus nest. A waspus nest has all the waspus nests. <laughs> Watch for waspus. <laughs> Watch for waspus. <laughs> He's like, you know, when you make something plural, you add yes. Always doesn't matter waspus. what it is. And their nests is milk comes from cows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I get it, man. <laughs> It was oh, a good PSA. That was great. Um, <laughs> so are you writing on a show now? Um, no. Are you going to tour? Back to oh, what we yeah. said before. That's right. <laughs> that we started recording. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to like not hate it. You don't, yeah. It's, <clears throat> here's the thing. You'll, it's so familiar, the feeling you have. Just know that it's completely natural and normal. That does make, it honestly does make me feel better. And I know that like starting over anything sucks. It sucks. You got to do it. Yeah. Um, you can riff on old bits to help you generate stuff. I think I need to do that a little. Yeah. Um, go to those, like, uh, you know, there's like Jeremiah Watkins has that uh, new material show that he does. Oh, yeah. He was doing it before. The, it was yeah, so I fun. Yeah, I did that once. That was That's really fun. That's a great fun. show. People yell out topics and you just go. That's smart. I've gotten bits from that before. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think too, like, we said I've just been being like too precious. Yeah. Like, what do I want to talk about? It's like yeah, when back don't. in the day it would just be like 
talk about something that happened. Like I may, maybe I'd make a whole bit about the guy who was like, I forgive you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, I'd talk about that and make something of it. Absolutely. Well, I, some guy just came up to me today and said, I forgive yeah. you. You start thinking, what do you forgive me for? Like all the things I've done. You know, whatever. Right. You just start building yeah. it. Yeah. And I think I've just been, like I said, it's just like I've been too precious about it. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what is it? What are you saying? Is that a good enough joke? It's not really a joke. It's just a story. Right, right. And it's like, when you have like obviously you've worked hard for your fans or you mm -hmm. know like some things are it's like drops in a bucket building yep. people who like what you do it's not going to be yeah. everybody yeah or sometimes you put out a special that blows up like you and yeah. it's like a huge whatever pour of fans into your bucket yeah sorry for this analogy um but when you do get to that point there is a sort of freedom in that you could kind of say anything and they'll love you yeah I mean, obviously that's a blessing and a curse. And you a don't curse. want to be up there looking like no. an idiot and not no. have any material whatsoever. Yes. Um, Which is why you got to go do shows that aren't, you're not billed on. You yeah. Know? You just kind of show up and you go, can I do some time? And you, you can find out real quick that like, oh, that is a solid bit. And you yeah. know, the good, like one that you, you're like, oh, this, this works for people who don't even know me. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, the other one's some real horse shit that mm -hmm. I was lying to myself about. <laughs> they yeah. were lying to me about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the, the audience becomes less discerning and you're just like, guys. Right. It, like, And I think about like how, how it must affect like the really famous comics. Um, where, I like, mean, we can see it sometimes. Yeah. yeah, sure you can. Yeah. You're like, no one's telling them. But there is a sweet spot. Yes. Yeah. But even as like a young comic with LA Comics dropping in when I first started out here, you're just like, oh no. Mm -hmm. Like it does become a cautionary tale. You can't get on stage and talk about like, I don't even want, I don't want to call anybody out, but just something like, like mm, my Range Rover is not working. You know what yeah. I mean? And people were like, cool. I have to like yeah. shovel shit tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Drive there. Hope, my your, hope your range gets fixed though. Yeah. yeah. So you don't want to like lose touch. No, which can happen, which I almost, I feel like that's, you're so in control of that. I don't really buy how that just ha happens. Like you let that happen. Yeah. If you're just that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or some of the posts that like I'm like why are you showing people that why are you showing people that <laughs> I think you learn over time too I mean like sometimes you make whatever you just like go about life and you see other people doing things and you can learn from them too or like you know what you're posting goes on the internet you know and I think sometimes you just for it's just a good reminder mm -hmm. to be like mm, I don't need to share everything no don't need to share everything yeah but you learn it yourself and then by watching where you're just like I shouldn't be seeing this no or you're, it is a red flag and you're like I should check on this person definitely yeah there's I've had that but I've done that before yeah yeah are you okay checked on, yeah checked on people mm -hmm. based on posts yeah it's true yeah and then there's some people I'm like I should fucking block this person's number after <laughs> this post <laughs> yeah. but it's true it's like it you've adapted right but you can choose not to adapt and then like even for example with this special it came out i worked hard on it i'm proud of it mm -hmm. it's not how i came up to always have photos be taken of me at shows i'm on mm -hmm. um have to post my stand-up on social media like clips the whole yeah. subtitling in them <clears throat> sorry for holding um but if you don't adapt like but but it works is the thing yeah you know and even you with the podcast it's like i could be like well i'm not starting one yeah. But it's like, it worked. You have to it just works. like change and adapt yeah. and yep. move forward. Otherwise so. you're one of those people who's like, how do I do this now? And yeah. everyone's doing it and you're like scrambling and everyone's like, you, you, websites? <laughs> you're yeah, been posting a, a screenshot of the Funny Bones website. Oh man. Come see me. To people who are like, who resisted so much. I you know. see them too. Like, yeah, you want to change and grow. Right, definitely. Are you doing a podcast? No, oh, I had one with my mom for a minute. You did with your mom? Yeah. I've done podcasts with my mom. It's I know. so fun. I've seen, oh my God, I saw the video of your mom farting. That's pretty great, right? It's so long. She brings it up sometimes and she's like, do you realize that you strip me of all my dignity? <laughs> oh, mom. For you to make your millions. <laughs> you embarrass your, your mother. You put a fart. In her and you I show the world. my pants. Show the world. <laughs> I'm like, mm, no, I liked it. It was so, unbelievably long. You sell this, you make your money, and you buy me an iPad. <laughs> I bought my mom an iPad too. Yeah, and I put, I gave her, I engraved it on the back in Spanish, La Reina de los Pedos, which is the queen of the farts. Which is like, <laughs> Even with the gift, you strip me of my dignity. <laughs> She's so funny. She's very funny. 
It's very funny. <laughs> yeah, we did one where my mom and Diane and I, um, I just, I thought if I'm going to start a podcast, it feels like pretty late. Mm-hmm. This was like a couple years ago and it should just be like different. So I asked my mom if she wanted to do it and she was like, what's a podcast? And she was like, sure. So it's just me and my mom calling my friend's moms. So oh, we would cool. call your mom and talk yeah. to her. Oh, that'd be we, great. We talked to Gigi, Bert's mom. You did? Uh-huh. She's very sweet. Yeah. Just to me, I like it because it's like I love moms and it's fun talking to their moms, yeah. finding out what they were like as kids, getting their perspective. The podcast sort of changed into like talking to the mom more than yeah. learning about the kid. Yeah. But it's still fun. Anyway. You're going to do another one? We did. We have 26 episodes out. But are you going to do another, like a different podcast? You I know? might do one with Mo Welch. She's a comic friend of mine. I know that name. Yeah, she's great. Mo. Is she here? She's here, yeah. Okay. We started in Chicago together. So we've known each other oh, cool. for like 14 years. Cool, cool. Yeah, we might do one together. I'm excited to go to Chicago. It's so good. I fucking love that city. I do too. It was a great place to start. I bet. Um, you know, I only I only did it after I was doing stand-up for a while. But like, you know, there's a few cities when you're touring that you're like amped to go yes. to. And Chicago's always That is one. always one of them. Always. Yeah, when I was starting, it was like uh, Kumail and Jared Logan and, um, were like about to move mm-hmm. to, out here. Yeah, I remember. I remember like when that Chicago crew kind of came. You yeah, know? I bet. Yeah, because it was Kumail and TJ and Brido and uh, and uh, Pete. And, yes, you know, like Pete. They all kind of arrived different months or whatever, but yeah. all around the same time. And you're like, all these guys are coming from Chicago. And Hannibal was sort of like and lingering. Hannibal, yeah. He would sometimes go to New York, but he was like the cl- closer to my. Like he was doing really well when I first came there. Like he was already the one who was like, oh my gosh, somebody could make it. Yeah. He was a darling. Of, like mm-hmm. I remember because people were just talk Like before I ever saw him, I heard his name a hundred <clears throat> times. People talking about him. Yeah. He got Craig Ferguson. That was like the first big thing. We and then like, I saw so it and excited. I was like, this, this set was, it was so funny. He is really, really funny. That Speaking of like when you can see the turn happening, when I first got out here like 10 years ago, I remember seeing him at Meltdown mm-hmm. and he, he really just said a sentence and the mm-hmm. crowd lost it. Yeah. And I was like, it, 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 it didn't make me mad. I wasn't like, oh, come on. I was like, this is so cool. Yeah, you're like this person. Because is... it is funny how he says it. You can watch him say anything and it would yeah. be funny. But yeah, he just said, I rented a car. And they just, yeah. Because he was telling the story about how he got that scar from his class. His, he has that, because that, um, it's all part of stand-up too, is uh, your cadence, Yeah. you know, your, your word choice, facial expressions. Like when people are like, mm-hmm. well, you know, you go, yeah, but it's all part of it. Like if you can get a laugh from going like this, like good for you. Exactly. That's great, you know? Yeah. It's true, and that's changed over time. Like I said, I was like, I look back at some of those videos, I'm like cringing. Like, p- 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 yeah, but we up. all are. We all are. <laughs> Why are you talking so slow? Everybody cringes at their early, if they're worth a shit, you know? They're total so. psychos. If they're like, you want to watch my early sets? They're like, <laughs> they're like oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and ew, just barf. Yeah, it's bad. It's hard to watch. Barf. Um, so, if you have not yet seen Girl Daddy, it's on HBO Max. Yes. It's uh, congratulations on that. It's Thank a huge you. accomplishment. It Thank should be you. celebrated. I'm proud of you. Happy for you. Thank you. It's great to see you. You too. And I uh, hope I get to see you sooner than the time we spent not seeing each other this time, which was about a decade. <laughs> Best selling. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you.
Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.